Dimension 20 Live presents Fantasy High Sophomore Year. I'm your humble dungeon master, Brennan Lee Mulligan. With me as always are our intrepid heroes. Say hi, intrepid heroes. Hi, intrepid heroes. Uh, if you're tuning in tonight, thank you so much for coming in and playing. We're back in 2020, gang. Um, I wanted to take a second here to talk to you guys and say we are so grateful for you guys watching the show. We love you guys. Uh, obviously, this last week, a lot of our friends at College Humor said goodbye and were laid off, and we wanted to say that we love them, including some friends of the show, Mike Trapp and Rekha Shankar. And some enemies of the show. And like some enemies of the show. Yeah. Uh, Jess Ross and Lily Dew. Um, uh, truly wonderful people. Uh, information's gonna be coming out. Uh, Andrew Bridgman, who runs the social for, for Dimension 20, is making an awesome website where you guys watching at home can go and hire college humor people. Oh, hell yeah. That's gonna come oh, out. Or birthdays, oh. or... Check it out. I assume that half of our fans own media companies, so... Um, yeah. Everybody's uh, got one these days. We're the uh, number one actual play for CEOs. For CEOs, a huge <laughs> percentage of Jeff our audience. Jeff Bezos is just going. Um, uh, but we're sending lots of love to all of our extended college humor family tonight. Um, and we also wanted to let you guys know uh, uh, that tonight uh, uh, we're actually airing a new Dimension 20 side quest, so Tiny Heist, which features uh, Jess Ross and Lily Dew, along with the McElroy family, is coming out on Thursdays for the next few weeks. There's six episodes. Episode number two comes out tonight. So, you know, after you watch the continuing adventures of the bad kids, you know, go get a snack, and then at midnight Pacific time, uh, you'll have a new episode of Tiny Heist to watch. Content, content, content. It's all about snacks. 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 Uh, it's all about snacks, baby. Last we left off, our bad kids, uh, uh, teenage heroes of the Egg Fort Adventuring Academy, uh, have uh, been on a quest their spring break to retrieve the crown of the Nightmare King. Their quest has brought them to Bastion City, to the pirate city of Leviathan, to Kailo Manura, the land where uh, horny elves, uh, teen elves, are sent to be banished. Um, and our friends are now heading to Calethrial Tower to rescue Adine Abernant from the clutches of the elven government. Um, they have some elemental pylons that they've found that they're trying to dismantle. And also, Adine has just triggered some kind of auto warning from Arthur Eggfort about fucking with his students. Uh, lo and behold, we return out of the world of Spire, the continuing quest to retrieve the crown of the Nightmare King! Oh! Oh! How about it? Um, uh, so, uh, uh, we are in the forests of Falinel. Uh, in the valley before you, you observe the tall tower of Calethriel. Uh, this is, of course, our the bad <coughs> kids, your associated hirelings and hangers-on. Um, and the two elemental pylons that you know are powering the tower are, there's kind of a rubbly old tower far up on a ridge, and there's a small plume of smoke coming from like a smithy or some kind of small wood-burning place off in the woods, a little bit closer to Calethriel Tower. Um, Last week, you guys had uh, made kind of a loose plan um, uh, to spread off in those different directions. Um, uh, do you guys remember who you had said and you wanted to go where? Right, the high ones were in one place. I yeah, I'm going to Adine. I think you and Kristen are going to Adine. <clears throat> yeah. And I believe me, Gorgug, and Fabian are going to the. The, the smoke, smoke? one? Yeah. yeah. Let's go yeah. to the pylon with the smoke. Okay. Um, and then the hirelings are going to the further one. Cool. They're going to the tower. Uh, that'll Central will have no problem getting them there. Tracker can fly and yep. carry someone. So that's not a Tracker can fly? Uh, Tracker can change into like a spirit wolf oh, I forgot. form that can yeah. fly. Um, uh, you see Galir looks up and says, and the van. What of the van and myself? The van we put in your ever-capable hands. Clear, and it's very important to me that we know you know that we trust you and that you do not get behind the wheel under any circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> I shall remain with the van, and I shall not drive it under any circumstance. The van just couldn't handle your heavy foot. <coughs> uh, yes, my feet are, especially my right, is extremely um, 
There's a lot of fluid in there. Oh, so. <laughs> no, no, it's referring right. to going It looks like you hurt your foot. You a metaphorical a dangerous mm -hmm. driving, but okay. Did you roll your ankle? Oh, oh. months ago, yes. A lot, not here oh, no. on the adventure. There's sort of, uh, there's a part above the sock that's turned like a band of purple around it. Hatch Wait, shot. so when we healed you from being dead, it didn't fix the ankle though? No, I okay. think there's some kind of bone issue or something <laughs> that it can't heal quite right. It's all right. The pain is kind of ambient. It's not. Uh, um, it's not acute. It's a sort of throbbing, um, and it's kind of nice too because the you know uh, the, all the extra blood kind of warms it up, and I don't have uh, all right on in my apartment. Watch your mouth, our friend. <laughs> um, we can. We can totally We had some kind of plan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, it's like the. You guys are like transporting in or something we like could, that. We for, could. We could. Gonna do invisibility, right? Yeah. Ida yeah. looks and says, and says, I can cast invisibility on all three of us, and we can go into That's the tower the together. That's also, the you're, I don't want to assume anything, but you're a bird. Hmm. Are you part bird? Can you fly us in? Or no? I. Uh, we have established that I'm half feet. Okay. Good. Yes. I just, you know, when sometimes it comes out of your mouth, and you, you're like, is this okay? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it is okay. Okay. Good. You didn't just hurt my feelings. Good. Can right. can you fly? Yes, I can fly. So could let's you fly be invisible and with fly? Us? I can turn you invisible and then fly us all there. Done. Great. 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 Very good. Um, you see that she <laughs> casts invisibility on you um, and says, uh, "I'm going to have to touch you to pick you up and fly you. Can I grab you in sort of a hug?" Enthusiastic consent. <laughs> I'd go for the hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. It's happening. It's happening. Um, and you see that she whoo, takes off flying. Uh, as she does, uh, the three of you guys start heading towards the smithy, which is closer. The hirelings take off and start flying. Uh, as you guys begin to take off, however, you see there is a crash of lightning. <laughs> uh, we cut to Collateral Tower. Um, uh, the little alert. <laughs> sort of vanishes for a moment. Adine, you're in your bubble, and you see that Kier and your father kind of turn to stare at each other, and you see as they turn, the turn begins to slow down, and a rift opens up, and you see Arthur Egfort's desk. Um, you see him sort of rub one of his eyes, look out and say, ah, oh, Miss Abernant, um, Someone just selected the way of paying on one of these auto notifications? Yes, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't, hello. Um, I'm kidnapped and in a tower and they have my sister locked in a orb and mm. have done for five months. I feel like that's Who, what institution torture? has done this? Oh, the Hiles of Falonel? Mm. Very well, let's do it. He crawls through the like <laughs> rift that he's made. Uh, he steps out, looks around, and he says, Ah, indeed, we are in foul now. All right, well, if they were dumb enough to push that button, we'll make them pay. Uh, he leaps out of the window of the tower, and as he does, you don't see him fall and realize the reason he's not falling is because he's growing as fast as he's falling. Ooh. And a 80-foot... <laughs> 150 foot, 300 foot Arthur Eggfort appears. You guys see this happen even faster as time begins to change and reform. Arthur turns down and says, Attention, nose of Falonel! Today, your nation falls! And reaches a hand up into the sky, towering overhead and you see his hand moves behind the sun and wraps <laughs> around it. What? And as he closes his hand around the sun, he goes, <laughs> and his veins light up <laughs> with golden fire. His mouth opens, <laughs> fire like races across the sky. And he goes, egg forts of the earth, to and Thousands of terracotta Arthur egg forts begin to what? burst what? out of the ground and just sprint <laughs> north away from Calethrial Tower. Can I just say, this isn't part of the game, but Brennan did have a really bad fever recently. <laughs> and I think it is showing thousands of terracotta egg forts. So they're going away from the tower? Uh, yes, you egg see that the- We're down here, the, we're like, down for 
Gross. The like mountain-sized egg fort that is clutching the sun. He's gonna he's gonna punt that thing. Um, you see, he go, uh, uh, holds it and begins to drag it across the sky. And <laughs> one giant step, um, and you see that it, uh, uh, it leaves a like burning scar across the sky <laughs> as he starts moving it. Uh, and you see that. Do we need to do anything? <laughs> yeah, we all just like. We're <laughs> all just like, gun out, just like, what are we? Is um, this good? <laughs> um, you see that uh, uh, the giant egg fort uh, takes long, slow, thudding steps across the valley as thousands of terracotta egg forts stream through the woods. And within minutes, he is uh, gone. Uh, and all of them are just leaving to go north. So What's north? Going. Is that north that, of the that town? Means Their that actual that city, I guess, right? Something's gonna happen. I mean, if he's trying to save you, he's probably not gonna destroy the city. Maybe it's just like a distraction, yeah, and we that's... should just keep doing our plan. Okay, okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, can we do an insight check to see if that's what's going on? Uh, anyone that would like to can make an insight check. <laughs> like, what's north? Oh, oh sweet. Um, 26. I, I got okay. a day 20. I got an 18, 13. though. Um, you heard the, 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 the 26, you heard the massive egg for it basically bellow, you know, like elves of Falinel, you will pay for what you have done this day. Uh, the magic you're seeing is uh, beyond the scope of mortal. You have no, you had no idea that Arthur was able to do this. Grab the sun. Yeah. Uh, grab the sun, have it light his veins on fire and his glowing eyes. You watch as he marches, his eyes glow like golden bright and just <coughs> lasers the size of, you know, like highways race out of his eyes and he just caps a range of mountains. Just <laughs> <laughs> As he marches north. Hey, Ida, do you want to call your dad and warn him that uh, we're here? Ida has landed, and it's like, um, I, 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 I. Wait, hey, did are you, you can do that? Uh, I, I guess I didn't. I didn't think he could specifically do that. Um, do you did, did he look at me? Do you think he saw me or no? He definitely didn't see you. But what's going? Is this a normal thing for your dad, or is this? Do you think that really was your dad? It seems like something he would try to do. Okay. I didn't know that he was able to do that, but it seems like something that he would maybe do. I don't think he saw you, but it's only because your invisibility spell was that good. Yeah. Have you said something so kind on purpose? Yeah. Thank Remember, you. we're transitively best friends. I really appreciate that. Sometimes people say nice things, but they didn't mean it, or you infer the nice thing. But the way you said it, it was very nice. I appreciate that. Okay, let's keep flying to the tower. Um, <laughs> she lifts you guys up. Uh, uh, so Adam, so you watch Kier and your dad see this happen. Kier is horrified and says, I'm going to alert, alert the elven government. Um, she uh, rushes up, but you do also see that Arthur has not like sprung you or done anything to help in any meaningful way. Um, uh, uh, so your father just kind of looks back at you and says, do you know what, do, do that, is this part of the plan? Do you guys get in, informed about this in like an assembly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen as soon as you pressed, as she pressed the, the pain button. Uh, none of this is a surprise to me. <laughs> hmm. Well, you're certainly telling the truth. And you see that um, he, uh, uh, you see that uh, he had he rushes off out of your room into the tower as well. Uh, and we are going to begin with our group headed towards uh, uh, the first pylon to, to the smithy. Um, can you say that we're all like running like uh, uh, anime characters? <laughs> <laughs> yes, all arms straight back out, running at the same time. Um, um, okay, uh, you guys arrive. Are you trying to arrive there stealthily or no? I, I mean, considering the massive chaos happening, like stealthily, considering that, but maybe like a little faster than we would have normally thought. Gotcha. Yeah, I think we're in kind of like a forest, right? Yeah. So I think we're going, we're sprinting tree to tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <gasps> uh, cool. <laughs> you guys move, um, uh, you guys move, um, you see uh, this 
uh, as you guys arrive, um, you see that there is a uh, large elven smithy. Um, uh, looking through the open archway, it's sort of this small, like green, moss-covered stone building, smoke pouring out of it. Uh, in the center of the building, you see that there are uh, a basically like um, three large fiery braziers, right? These huge, like silvery elven dishes uh, piled high with burning coals, and that it's causing the smoke to rise up out of this. Um, you see that there are uh, also three elven statues at the other corners of this kind of hexagonal six-pointed uh, room that are elven statues that are holding huge pitchers of water. In the center of this smithy is a so hot it's hard to look at it so bright deep fire pit and that has like a helix of magic within it going around and around and around um that central pit is what you think is the source of a lot of the magical energy that is going to Calethriel tower to power its permanent magical effects okay mm -hmm. um what do you guys do as you behold All right. perception checks for everyone enemies? make perception checks yeah See those statues being so tricky. Uh, perception. 18? 16. Ooh, not great. 10. Uh, you do not see any uh, people of any kind here within the pylon. So, okay, so we got water and we got and fire. Maybe we douse them? We use the well, there's, there's braziers, there's three, three, and then there's three things of water? Yes, there's three braziers, there's three things of water. And then the thing in the center? Uh, th and then the thing in the center. The Braziers of coals are in different corners. So if it's like a six cornered uh -huh. smithy, it's sort of like one, two, three braziers. And then in the opposite corners, it's uh, but facing away from each other, it's one, two, three statues of water. Mm. The pitchers you notice uh, gear down towards the central fire pit. Like there's like almost a channel or a runnel or something like that that comes off the pitchers going down. Uh, the pitchers don't look like they would naturally move towards the braziers in the corner. Oh, they look like they spill in and go to the center? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Can we look at the bra inspect the braziers, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like, see if, like, Yeah, those... uh, give me an investigation check for the braziers. Can somebody help me? I can help you. I have... Well, too late, I already rolled. Ooh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, baby. Nice. Um, that is a... Da, da, da. 27? Ooh. And I got a two. Oh. Uh, a 27. <laughs> uh, the uh, the braziers are, you recognize them from a like rogue tomb raiding manual. These are traps, uh, and these are specifically uh, conjure elemental traps. Guys, this is tomb raiding 101. These are conjure <laughs> elemental traps. So how do, what, how do you set them off? Do you, would you know that? Or like, should we? <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> Well, I mean, the question is, is there a way around it, or do we just have to deal with it? Here's the it? thing, Tomb Raiding 101 only teaches us how to find traps, <laughs> not necessarily how to I like to, to imagine them. Riz is dressed as Tomb Raider all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it's that little blue. Riz looks so hot. <laughs> um, well, we gotta, okay. I don't think we have too much time to figure it yes. out. Yeah, all right. So do, why don't we all go towards one of the statues like because i don't understand how the braziers really fit in i bet they... you if we put if we use the water we definitely need to use the water to put out the thing in the middle if we uh -huh. do that i bet you one of these elementals will pop up here's an idea i'll go do it you guys get ready to just bash it as soon as it comes out yeah go let's ahead. try to like only go towards one of the things yeah. so we don't set off everything just in yes. case. Right on. All right. Yeah. Um, should I go climb up and see if you can get some water going? Get yes. some water going, and then you guys are just like ready to destroy. Great. Hell yeah. One of these things. All right. All right. I believe in you. Hell yeah. I, I believe in you. Um, I believe in you. So, I believe in you. <laughs> hell yeah. You guys I all believe in each other. I believe Very, very exciting. People. I believe in the three of us. I'm not sure about myself. <laughs> and the overall, two of you have got the six this. of us at large. <laughs> um, you move in. That investigation lets you avoid what you see as being some possible areas where you could just set something off on the floor. Okay. You like hop up into an alcove. Go actually ahead and give me an acrobatics check. 
Can somebody toss me and help me? Can I would toss, you can I'd like to toss the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and give can me I, an athletic check. Can I help you? Uh, you yeah. Can help. Gorga gets a health action. Give me, help, help, give me, help. yeah, give me this athletics really uh, yeah, with really. advantage. Uh, that's gonna be uh, twenty-two. Cool. Um, so you. <laughs> Pick up Riz in your hand, and you sail, bam, land on the statue without touching anything in the floor, land on the first <laughs> statue. Like a little spider monkey or like kite, kite <laughs> squirrel. Really good job, everyone. Flying squirrel. I believe in you, I believe in you. Um, I like the support. Give me another investigation check as you arrive at this brazier. Okay. Huh. 13. Um, immediately what you see is... Is he on the picture of the brazier? Uh, you're on the uh, the statue with yeah, the pitcher, that's what I'm trying to right? Do. So you're on the statue with the pitcher there. Uh -huh. uh, see this like elven statue here. Immediately, what you see is all the infrastructure of this place, like everything, bears this high elven adoration for arcane magic. So as a result of that, uh, you see that you need a cantrip to trigger that these pitch. There's an easy way to make these pitchers move, which is just a cantrip that would allow them to bend over. Wait. For you you're gonna have to figure out some way to mechanically or otherwise like disable or deal damage to cause these pitchers to move. Oh yeah, they didn't care about physical strength. Yeah, we don't, That's right. Yeah, we don't know how to use magic. We're, oh. I'm, I'm the greatest wizard of our time. <laughs> I believe in you, but also we should have brought somebody who knows magic. Can I go into a rage and just jump at this thing? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, Okay. Uh, yeah, you can go do it. Wait, wait, no, no, no. no okay. you're, ready. Okay. Wait, wait. you're ready to attack? I believe in you. I but believe in you, but wait. Okay. Okay. Do you want to just shoot it off? Yes. I mean, yeah. That's okay. Great. Yeah. That's clearly that's the move, right? Yeah. I mean, it feels like either you shoot it off or you do blunt. But that? he's he's down there waiting for the elemental. Smack. Well, okay. Somebody, okay. Right. Great. I'm gonna shoot. And then we're gonna reassess. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna let you know right now. That I uh, did a bad job? Uh, you, no, you did not do it. Uh, uh, there is a damage threshold here. Oh, okay, here. cool. Uh, the damage threshold is 15. You need to do at least 15 points of damage to do any damage. Um, and then <coughs> it's a 20 hit points based on the mechanism on the statue has. Okay. Um, uh, you are. You go ahead and roll an attack roll as normal. Okay. Um, you can add your sneak attack to this. Oh, sweet, okay. Sick. 16 to hit? 16 hits. Great. Okay. Let's do the statue. Damage. Never saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Eight. Very good. 28. 28! Uh, Riz, <laughs> bam! You nail the. Um, Great job, Riz. Uh, uh, boom! Great job. And you see the pitcher. Uh, lurches forward off the broken statue. This bright, clear water surges out of this alabaster pitcher, races down, uh, hits the central fire. The helix changes from golden green to a weird arcane purple gold, just uh, And the first brazier next to the door roars into life. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. You guys have readied actions, Great. but uh, so the way this is going to work is that basically you two guys get a surprise round. Great. Okay. Um, do we get a we roll uh, initiative though, right? Do roll initiative. Okay. Yes. Uh, Eleven for me initiative. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Uh, okay. Here we go, Fabian. This is good. This is a good plan. This is good. This I is like good plan. this. Very really right. solid. Fabian. <laughs> really I love solid. the amount of support we're all giving each other. <laughs> this is good. Positivity. Yes, we uh, we have each other's backs. We're a team. All right, uh, <laughs> Fabian, you act first without um, uh, without surprise. Let me ask you a question. Would you have gone to the statue closest <coughs> to the door or one further away from the door? I think probably the one closest. Cool. Um, Fabian, you are first to act. Great. Uh, uh, can I do an arcana check? This is just like a classic Fire elemental, nothing Classic special. Classic fire elemental. Great. Uh, then we'll just swing. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll stab it. Uh, what sword are you attacking? Uh, oh, I guess I'll, I, I don't have, or I do. do something magical? I don't have anything. I don't think I have the sword. Do I still have the sword of the sea caster on me? Or it has been placed in front of you a number of times, but whether Fabian, uh, <laughs> but whether Fabian would be fighting with it right now is up to you. Uh, I think I timidly just take it out. Uh, and I'll I'll swing at it uh, cool. with what? Uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. Uh, 
That's going to be a 25. 25 hits. Great. Uh, and that'll be uh, 11. That is 11 <coughs> points of damage. Uh, you rush up, uh, Slash, are you taking your second attack? Uh, I don't have one. Uh, right. And then I will take my movement to uh, stand uh, timidly behind Gorgug. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Once... no, I'm not going to leave a threatened area. Uh, uh, but... You also take okay, great. five fire damage um, uh, right away, right off the bat. Um, uh... Hey, Fabian, you're on fire, dude. What? Right? Uh, no, or wait no. One. He's on fire. You have not, you have not ignited. Okay. Um, uh, but you do take five points of fire damage. Um, and uh, as you move away, it is going to take a swipe at you. Great. Oh, you did move away? I'm, I am going to move away. It misses. Okay, yeah. Catching on fire. Oh, stop! Uh, <laughs> I believe in you. I can, I'm sure you can find a way to not be on fire anymore. <laughs> uh, Gorga, you are next acting. Uh, okay. uh, Riz and the Elemental, you guys lose your turn at for, for surprise. I'm going to go into a rage. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to recklessly attack this bad boy. Uh, well, there's one. Right? Yeah, do it up. Nat 20. Yes! Yeah! Oh, love oh. to see it. And, uh, and that means... Crit. That's going to be 3d12 plus whatever you have, because you have savage attacks. For 3d12 plus 6. Oh, wait, do I have savage You're attacks? You're raging because it's plus 8. Do I get... Oh, right. yeah. Okay, great. Right? Uh, yes. And it is 3d12. Do you need another one? Plus... I'm sorry, <laughs> raging makes it plus 8? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so here's... Uh, so that's 11 and a 2, and then one more. Oh, I'll just do one more. Uh, and then a 5. So 11, 2, 5. 18. 18 uh, plus 6 on the first attack. Well, plus 8 on the first attack, right? Uh, oh, yeah, plus 8. 18 plus 8 is 26. 26 yeah. Jeez. So 26 on the first hit, and it's a magical weapon, if that matters. Uh, it does uh, matter. And then uh, it's also uh, you knock your subject prone with Zelda's mixtape. Oh, you're oh. listening to Zelda's mixtape. Yeah. Uh, so, Phoebe, you were not slashing this thing. It sets you a little bit on fire. Gorga, bam, this thing is on its fiery ass. Okay. Um, and then I'll take my second attack. Go for it. Okay. Worse. Uh, 16. 16 hits. Nice. Okay. And so that's just um, 1d12 plus 8. Okay. Uh, 19 on that one. Nice. 19 damage. Damn. I um, believe in you. Two equally good turns, I believe in guys. all of you us. You both did really good. <laughs> we both did do good. You both yeah. did great. Yes. Come oh. <laughs> <laughs> on. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Come you on. also, when you hit this thing, do take five points of fire damage Ouch. right away. Um, uh, that is going to be Fabian. Your turn again. What? Uh, uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to run up and hit it again. Uh, Go for it. It's, it's on the ground, too. Do you get advantage? Yeah, he gets advantage. You get advantage, actually, yeah. Crit. Uh, I didn't crit, uh, but I did get a 19. Hey. If, if I were a fighter, <laughs> then that would mean something. Uh, so that'll hit, and then uh, that'll be a, tw a 13. 13 points of damage, hell yeah. And then I'd like to run back behind Gorgug again. <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Um, that is going to be Riz's turn. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to shoot the fire elemental. Ooh, two, ten, uh, 19. 19 hits. Sweet. And you do get sneak attack because this thing is prone and both of your friends are wailing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Riz like, I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> the ball. Just shooting I... dangerously close to you. Yeah. Just like right here. <laughs> it was right over your thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> 25 damage. Ooh, baby. Um, this thing is already looking hurt. Good plan, everyone. Good plan. Are we Good going plan. to kill this one and then do the next picture? Is that what? <sighs> okay. I have been summoned and bound by the elves of old to protect this sacred pylon. <laughs> Please stop hitting me with your weapon. Oh, oh right, sorry. we didn't speak to you. <laughs> if, if we had not hit you and uh, asked you to not attack us, would you have not attacked us? You might have asked him. You did reckless attack, so it's going to get some advantage on attacking Gorgug. Uh, um, hold on one second. Uh, that's going to be a hit. 
that's gonna be a hit as well. It deals you first 10 okay. and then 14 points of fire damage. Your rage does not have that. Yeah. Um, uh, and you are also ignited uh, and fully on fire. You're on fire, Cora God. You're on fire, dude. Well, where did You're everything? You're on fire. Ah. You're good. <laughs> hey, you're on fire, but I believe in you. Uh, and Gorgog, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be your that is your turn, Gorgog. Uh, would I know how to not be on fire anymore? Uh, you can take an action to douse yourself. Can I put you out? Yeah, you uh, wanna... although you do take another five points of fire damage at the start, at the start of, the start of turn. my turn. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at eighty-five. Look, Fabian, do you want to try to? Yes, knock... very much so. Ah! Okay, yes, I'll, I'll keep, do that. Keep going, Gorgog. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna recklessly attack him again. Go for it. All right. Uh, that'll hit, mm -hmm. and so <laughs> nine damage on the first one. Uh, another reckless attack that'll hit. Uh, uh, this is uh, eleven, so I did twenty-one or twenty damage so far. Uh, uh, you know, you guys are. Uh, uh, rushing in here. This is one of the first adventures you guys have had out here on spring break where you guys like have a plan, you know what's going on, you rush into here, first pitcher down, Gorgug, you were set on fire, but you guys got the jump on this thing and wailed on its ass right away and you, two more mighty blows, bam, bam, there's a blast of fire. You're still ignited. Yes. This thing ah. is spring break. <laughs> We're doing spring it. break. Yes. We're doing it. You guys yell spring break as you're on fire. <laughs> spring break. Uh, baby, and that is your turn. I'd like to take my turn to put uh, Gorgug out. Cool. You take an action. You douse Gorgug. You are no longer on fire. Uh, uh, you have one of those silk blankets. You, can <laughs> yes. put. Look, you put the blanket out, and the blanket perfectly drifts and like wraps around you. And there's a little elven like. And it sort of breathes a fire off you. Oh, good. Everyone knows elven sheets can put out fires. Um, Fabian, that is your turn. Riz, your turn. Great. Okay. No more elementals. No more moment. elemental. There are two more segments of the room. Sweet. Okay. Everybody, get ready to attack things. Okay. Um, However, I... you do see though that there is clearly some like alarm or signal from within the changed fire, which was probably, you know, this is like literally where the energy is coming from. Someone attacking it or fucking with it was definitely gonna be noticed somewhere. But there is a, you know, 450 foot Arthur Egg Fort stomping north somewhere. So, so hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Great. Yeah, let's just keep going. All right, I'm gonna shoot another uh, uh, statue. Go for it. Sweet. <laughs> oh, can we, oh, uh, no. Yeah, 24. 24, hell yeah. Go ahead and roll that sneak attack damage. Such a dramatic pause. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <coughs> 23. Woo! The pitcher lurches forward. Uh, suddenly it is this uh, gleaming bright ruby red helix of energy coming out of the fire as the second of the two water pitchers moves into the middle and another elemental springs out of the brazier, acts on the next initiative, which is the one coming up right now, right. Um, uh, races forward and is going to uh, take some attacks on you, Riz. Oh, I <laughs> uh, should have hit him. We had a good plan on the first one, gang. Yes. Um, uh, you are immediately ignited. <laughs> yeah. You take 10 points of damage, oh followed God. by another 11 points of damage. Oh. 21. Oh. You guys don't have a healer, do you? No. We're yeah. missing. Spring break. No, Interesting. Spring break. Yeah. Spring break. I'll, I'll douse you. Don't worry. <laughs> it's the blanket. Yeah. Yeah. And I, have I slowly sheathe my sword and I'm just holding this blanket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the worse we're doing, the better the other teams are doing. Yes. Just remember oh that, God. everyone. Stay positive. Mark Spring break. You're fully on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're fully on fire. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> saying spring break. Stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Spring break. Uh, Gorgug, that's going to be your turn. Gorgug, uh, I'm going to frenzy on this. Or, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, recklessly attack this one. Baby, please Go put me out. It. I'm coming. <laughs> Weirdest <laughs> raw I've ever seen. We have the perfect job for traumatized Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> Just a firefighter. First one hits. Uh, 
you're fading the flame. <laughs> Second one Sorry. hits. And then I'm gonna use my frenzy attack. Hell yeah. So. Uh, does a, yeah. Do, I think all three of them hit. Okay, awesome. Uh, 23 for the worst one, so. So that's just gonna be 3d12 plus 24? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, 10 and a nine plus. Ooh, uh, you'll love to see it. Nine. Nice. She's 18, 28, 28 plus 24. That's crazy. You deal 52 52. damage. I believe in us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should just yes. do it yourself. Um, as you attack this thing, you take another five points of fire damage. Fuck! <laughs> um, uh, you guys definitely did, were right to not send the hirelings to this one. Yeah. This was yeah. a bad one. Um, uh, just boom, boom. Um, we're both on fire. <laughs> <laughs> now Fabian has um, to choose which one. Oh, uh, well, no, he, he just took fire just, damage. He just took oh, fire damage. Fire. You're ignited. Um, that's Gorgug Fabian. That's you. Fully sheath my sword. <laughs> so, like, do like some light dancing with this blanket, <laughs> and then just full on run at, at the ball. <laughs> You're uh, really in touch with your elven roots right now. It's a lot of like ribbon dance twirling. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and you're like, the fire kind of curls up the sheet and around your hands, and you do kind of some David Bowie orb tricks <laughs> with the fire. Uh, palm, yeah, palm juggling, contact juggling. Contact, you do a lot of contact juggling with sheets and fire. Uh, you are down, Riz is doused. Uh, Riz, that is your turn. Sweet. Um, I found I'm gonna... my purpose. <laughs> I'm going to do a bonus action disengage by slowly backing away from the situation. Um, uh, I'm going to do a bonus action disengage so that I'm not getting attacked by the fire elemental. Um, and then I'm going to uh, shoot at it. I imagine it's like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, where like a sheet unfurls and there's just no one no in it. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm anime running really loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh no, um, that is only a 12 to hit. Uh, 12 misses, that's Riz's turn. Elemental's gonna be next. Uh, you took Rathus' attacks on your last turn, correct? Yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a hit for sure. Wow, if I do this right That's a hit for sure. Um, it's gonna be... I mean, we've Trackers got to 14, uh, 20 points of fire damage, and you are ignited. Okay. As I say, <laughs> my, <laughs> eyes, <laughs> my eyes come alive. Uh, I really hope we don't have to uh, do much after this. You guys, by the way, also now see that the helix in the middle is flickering with other energy that looks like it's possibly failing. Out the window, you guys see a flash of some kind of magic from Tracker up at the other tower. Oh, cool. So it looks like they've made it to their position as well. Right. Um, Can I make a perception check? Or I'll wait till my turn. Uh, uh, and it is your turn right now. Welcome okay. to an another five points of fire damage. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> Welcome to the fire zone. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to another five points of fire damage. Uh, it's a smith, smithy, right? Yes, it looks like some kind of, but it looks like it has been built into the shape of a smithy in, uh, uh, and it's actual, it's not a functional form. So there's not like weapons anywhere or anything like that? Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. 12. Uh, <laughs> you see that there are some ornamental weapons carved from stone on the okay. statues. But this place is really more of like, again, like an arcane power station sure. than it is a working force. Great, okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna keep recklessly attacking just because. I'll keep uh, putting you out. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm still on fire, right? Yes. I'm at, I have 55 <laughs> hit points, so I don't know if I can keep doing that very much. All right. Uh, 21 hit? 21 hits. Uh, does a 15 hit? A 15 does hit. Oh, wow. And then uh, 23. Hell yeah. So, so three hits. Uh, so it's going to be plus, you know, whatever. This plus 24, yeah. Uh, so that is a, that's 20 points with two dice and another 10. So hey. 30 plus 24. 54. 54. Woo! Second elemental Gorgug. <laughs> the fire blasts away, singes the walls. Um, there are no combatants on the floor right now. You are still ignited, Fabian. It is your turn. Uh, can I make an athletics check uh, to do some cool jumps while I 
put him out. <laughs> Go ahead and give it to me with advantage. Hey, thank you. I have the positivity. Uh, that's, he's, he's thriving. Uh, uh, that's 23. <laughs> uh, have, like, the for the first time, absolutely thriving. for the first time, you are feeling your body fully express itself <laughs> in combat. And instead of like a weird compulsion to like run into danger and like hurt things or attack things, you're like, Saving your friends through the power and majesty of dance. <laughs> I'm like out of breath, like sit on my face with like stained chair, like I'm here for you. <laughs> Fire comes off. Uh, Riz, that is your turn. Sweet. Um, this is something we didn't try. What if we put out the fire before we do one of these things? We well, have the last one. everyone knows that elephant blankets put out fires. Put it out. Put out the brazier. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess we'll. I mean, it was announced uh, that elven. Everyone knows that elven blankets put out fires. <laughs> so I'd like to use common knowledge uh, and use uh, my elven blanket to put out this. the third brazier. I know what's happening. I know. Uh, I see what's happening. Um, I. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Box of Doom. Yeah. Oh no, Fabian. Give me the Box of Doom. This is going to be a DC 20 acrobatics check. I have advantage I know, yeah. and plus eight. Can I, can I prepare an action to hit the thing if it comes to life? And I'm gonna say this. On a 20, nothing bad will happen to you. I wanna see, you'll see what happens if you hit a 25 or higher. <laughs> Great, and this is. I believe in you, Fabian. This is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, acrobatics? Acrobatics. Spring break! Oh. oh, God, I can't see what that one is. I can't see what either one is. First one's a 16, what does a 16 do? 16 That's gets eight. me to 24. 24, 24. awesome. Um, here are your dice. Um, uh, uh, Fabian, um, <laughs> you rush up to this brazier. <laughs> you, Touch something on the floor which triggers the brazier to erupt. <laughs> <laughs> the elemental oh, leaps no. out, and as it does, you encircle it in the sheet, take it into the deepest tango dip in the world. Oh my god. Um, uh, and now I'm gonna ask you to make a choice. You did not hit a 25. Okay. Do you believe in the dance I've... enough to fully take the damage that will come from embracing this elemental. Uh, I do. <laughs> Riz is sobbing. Riz is sobbing. <laughs> you take 22 points of fire damage. Okay. As you <laughs> lean deeply into the dance, you guys see the sheet swirls around Fabian's body and the <laughs> elemental, like roiling up behind them in the flame as you dip this elemental. Um, uh, before the elemental goes, Riz, it is your turn. <laughs> Shoot it in the head. <laughs> Shoot it in the head. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, the, you don't, the elemental right now, uh, give me an insight check. Oh <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Help me figure this out, Gorgon. Okay? Oh, hey. Matt 20. Uh, the elemental has been so deeply affected by the dance that you don't think it's in active combat mode right now. <laughs> it might be in a state of being partially stunned. It's so beautiful, Gorka. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, but you do see the final statue with the pitcher. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the pitcher. Cool, go, go ahead and give me an attack. Yeah, baby, that's 28. <laughs> Hell yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Wild stuff happening over here at the Smithy. <laughs> the, the vibes are strong. <laughs> the, the boys are having a weird day. <laughs> uh, ooh, not great rolls, but 410. Uh, ooh, wait, four, six. Can oh. you do Fury of the Small? Oh yeah, I can. 18, and then if that's not enough, I'll do Fury of the Small. I'm you doing do Fury eight. of the Small. Bam! You hit 20 points, last pitcher. <laughs> um, you see that the uh, water flows. The fire extinguishes this elemental that you're cradling here. Uh, as the last brazier goes out and the helix ends, the thing binding this elemental uh, 
to protect this place goes as the helix goes in the last pictures there. So you are holding this elemental there and you see that it goes from being a monstrous fire to being a sort of elven face made of wreathing flame. It looks up at you, tears of flame streaming down its face as you hold it and it uh, kisses you so softly on the lips for <laughs> eight points of damage. I take it, I take it all. I take, it, I take every single point of that damage, I take it slowly. <laughs> I feel it in my whole body. Um, as it does, uh, you see that um, uh, a voice whispers in your ear like flame. Thank you for my freedom, for my life. And the flame goes out. <laughs> you feel a touch on your lips. And you guys see as Fabian stands, the sheet roiling around him, um, you see that his lips are like red hot and that with like a sort of gulp standing up badly injured, you feel a glowing moat of fire like descend down your throat and rest hot and warm in your chest. Oh, wow. Great job, everybody. <laughs> Can I take his cape and wrap it around his shoulders and tie it on like a, uh, like the sheet and the tie sheet? it on like a cape? You are wearing a sheet tied around you like a superhero. You got that fire in your belly now. I do. You got that fire in your belly. Yeah, I do the ball. I do go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's break! 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 Wait, the is, it, is it broken? <laughs> um, uh, the pylon is destroyed. Great. 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 So happy. Yeah. So happy. Yeah, this is the biggest uh, smile on my face. Um, uh, oh. Incredible. Um, we cut to <laughs> Calethriel Tower. Uh, oh my god. Um, uh, um, okay, so um, Calethriel Tower is a tall, multi story tower, about like a 10 story tower that is situated into a like the edge of a walled courtyard. So it's sort of like a little ring wall, and then on the edge of the wall, the tower comes up, leaving that little garden in the middle. You see the gate is closed. Um, you guys arrive looking at it. Um, as you guys arrive there, uh, go ahead and give me perception checks. 10, wait, 11. Uh, 20 not nat. 20 not nat. You look around, and Kristen, <laughs> as you're waiting there, um, you look and uh, see uh, uh, the young elf maiden that you guys fought in Leviathan rush into the tower, followed quickly by uh, Adon's dad, Anguin Avernan. You also see four of these extremely large, like eight foot tall, they look kind of like green men, where um, they don't look uh, like automatons, like the Warforged you met in Leviathan, but they're more like made of spellcraft. They're like plant beings that are composed of magic, but they have beautiful elven faces. These are sort of like eight, eight and a half foot tall elven giants. Four of them walk into the tower. And the last thing you notice with that 20 is you see some of Tracker's magic up in that far tower. And then you see the moon doors that some of these guardians came out of. Fade. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm gonna use that. We're invisible right now. Yes, you are. I'm gonna use the opportunity to disguise self for the next hour to be to look like Arthur Eggport. <laughs> so that if I come out of invisibility, they'll think I'm Eggport. <laughs> they'll think you're Arthur Eggport. Can I, um, while we're invisible, do I have a chance to cast something on the elf that was running in front of Adine's dad? <laughs> They have made it in before the spells were up. Now that the, uh, the, the flow of magical energy into the tower is gone, you know that all the permanent magical effects that were on this place are now dispelled. But those soldiers aren't. The soldiers are not. 
So you, you have to worry about, the, uh, about Kier, the young elfin woman, <coughs> Adine's father, and whatever those guardians were. Okay. okay I, I think wanna... if you cast a spell when you're invisible, you come out of invisibility, right. I think. <clears throat> uh, I believe, I think it depends. If it's lesser invisibility. If it, with invisibility. lesser invisibility, yeah. And that's what, uh, and that's what she, that's yeah. what she oh, regular invisibility. Oh, so I guess I, yeah. maybe I cast this guy's self before I cool. got yeah, the paper. Are invisible. we able, what do you guys think? Should we fly and try to find Adon yeah. in a window? Yeah, let's yeah. try to fly into a window. Uh, cool. Um, uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. 20, not nat. A uh, 21, not. Uh, you guys spot a window up at the very top of the tower. Um, Ida looks at it and says, good, that's us. Um, uh, she picks you up, flies to that top of the tower. As she does, you see Adine suspended in an orb in that top tower. Wait, if the magic is gone, shouldn't the orb be gone as well? Uh, the, uh, uh, the orb is a spell that no longer has the re-up effect. Oh, okay. so in other so words, in like an hour it'll be gone. Exactly. Um, oh wait, if I cast a cantrip, do I come out of invisibility? Uh, yes, if you cast a cantrip, you'll come out of invisibility. Damn. Um, uh, can we, let's oh, just see. Yeah, no one's in that room, right? It's just add on in all. Get in. Do you have Hell yeah. weird swords? No. Um, I think I gave James Whitlaw's oh. Whitlaw's sword back to okay. the city. I um, wish I wanted to keep it. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, as you guys fly to the window, um, you guys uh, you guys rush in. Go ahead and give me an attack roll on that window if you're attacking it. 10? <coughs> ten. Uh, 10 does not hit. Um, uh, you, it, so like, there's no way now to like stay under invisibility, right? Because you're kind of like, you got to attack the window to possibly get a chance of getting into the room. So you come out of invisibility with that. Oh wait, I come out of invisibility for attacking? Yeah. In that case, why don't we just do, why don't I just cast Shatter on it if we're gonna come out of invisibility anyway? I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, cool. so I just cast Shatter on okay. it. Okay, you cast Shatter, you hit a fucking chord on that guitar. Uh, and then Arthur Eggfort playing a bass guitar appears in the sky. Came back. <laughs> Thank goodness you came back, Professor. I, uh, I thought you... Uh, Ida, Kristen, and Fig all leap into the room. Um, uh, as they do, uh, you see those four guardians rush in with Kier uh, and your dad right behind uh, them. I cast Banishment on Kier. We're gonna roll initiative now. Okay. <laughs> do I also have to roll initiative? Yes, you do. Great. 14. <laughs> Woo! I also got a 14. Also, Ida, uh, I want to I want to message Ida and be like, it's it's just me, it's big, okay? Don't get. Oh, you turned yourself into her. Dad. I know, I know. <laughs> I warned her when we were coming well, over. With yeah. I was like, hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, did anyone get above a 20? No. 14. Uh, did anyone get above a 15? No. Uh, did anyone get above a 10? 14. 14. Both got 14? Cool. Um, Fig, <coughs> Adine. Um, did anybody get between a 5 and a 10? What you get? an 8. 8. Hold on. That's what I, I get for announcing what I'm going to do. I have a minus 3 to initiative. <laughs> it's insane. It's the worst stat I've ever seen. You have a 4. I just start reading my book. You have a 4? Four? <laughs> 4 to dex? Yeah. They have a four in dexterity. They wear flip flops. Like, there's no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah that's true. So, for you losing your um, like, cool. drive, it's you like, guys wait, have landed we... in this room. You see this orb here. Uh, Fig, you are first to act. Sweet. Well, I'm Arthur Eggford, so I'm going to say, uh, this will all be over if you hand me the girl. Uh, go ahead and give me a intimidation or persuasion. Wouldn't it be like deception or performance? Uh, actually, yeah, we'll call it. We'll call it uh, well, Give me a deception to be Arthur Eggfort, okay. and then it will be, I guess, intimidation. Uh, deception, I got a, um, wait, hold on. 18. 18, awesome. Um, uh, you, uh, that's enough to, to deceive them. Now go ahead and give me intimidation, just a flat intimidation. 12. 12. Uh, you see, Kira says, you are nothing more than a fool, and your efforts here shall have been in vain. Um, I'm not going to make you use your whole turn on that intimidation. If you want to take another action, you can. All right, then. Uh, I'm going to Hexblade curse Adine's dad and attack him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. I know this isn't strategic, but man, fuck that guy. 
Uh, absolutely go for it. Does a 15 hit? Uh, does a 15 hit? Uh, a 15 certainly hits. However, um, uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Hmm, eight. That's your wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Awesome. Um, you see that Anguin's eyes ripple, and he says, think better of your hasty action, and uses instinctive charm, uh, which means on a failed save, the attacker targets the creature closest to it other than the enchanter or itself. Oh, um, please don't make me attack Ida as her dad. Um, <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'm gonna roll, it's 50-50 between, oh. uh, I'm gonna say one through, t uh, one through three is Ida, and a four through six is Kristen. That's a three, you attack Ida, oh, and four. Oh no! Oh. I, can I scream, it's Fig, it's me Fig, blame me, blame me! <laughs> oh my god, that's oh, wait, so oh, much what? damage. Shit, no, I didn't no, do no, that, oh I didn't god, do that, I didn't do that. 12. Uh, uh, 12 damage? Yeah. Uh, cool, oh, and, what, and what, was your, what was your actual attack roll again? Uh, it was 15. Okay. Um, uh, you see Ida, uh, and you did 12 damage. Yeah. So you swing at Ida, whoo, and you see that Ida looks here and says, it's Dad, Dad, it's I'm me sorry, me I'm me dad, me I'm me sorry, me dad, me dad, me dad, me I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dad, Dad. It's me, Dad. It's your best friend, I'm so sorry. Um, here looks at Arthur Eggfort attack his daughter and scream, I'm your best friend, it's me, Fig. And Kira says, I'm getting very confused and upset with everything that these children do. Um, I hope the vibes are just as positive as the other vibes. They must be. great. Um, Adine, that's gonna be you. I mean, can I do anything? Um, uh, oh, I'm gonna message uh, Aelwyn. Uh, Aelwyn, get ready, we're, get, we're leaving. Get ready. Okay. Get ready, we're leaving. Uh, there's a vault on the first floor. Yes. Um, and she messages back to you. Uh, she knows to get ready. Um, that is Adine's turn. Um, and can I ready an action to cast a spell? Yes, you can be absolutely ready an action to Great. cast a spell. Yeah. Um, Are these guardians green plants? <clears throat> Uh, uh, these guardians are <coughs> green plant-like oh. creatures, yes. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Hold on one second. Um, I am going to, uh, Anguin raises his hand to cast Dominate Person on you, Fig. Uh, and Ida knocks it out of the air. Nice. Boom, nice. counterspell. Thank you, for me, Fig. Whatever, I would help you, Fig, to Dad. We, my, you're, you're not my dad, you're Fig, right? Yeah, I'm It's an fig. illusion, I'm yes, fig. you're Fig. I know, dad. why would I have carried my dad here? He never carried me. me, me. <laughs> um, and he, Hey, if you want to work out some stuff, like when we're not in battle, I can kind of do this. I might need to work some of it out while we're in battle, because you yeah, well, elected to have a disguise that's very upsetting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> uh, uh, that's Angus or Kristen, I that's really you. Well on my oh, great. I am going to, uh, what am I gonna do? You know what, we're all just in one room, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians uh, and try to fill the room with Spirit people Guardians. who, and, and uh, excluding us two, Ida, and the sisters. Cool, you got it. And then I wanna try to see if I can roll the ball that Adine's in, <laughs> like a bowling ball at. <laughs> um. At Kier. Do you have Dispel Magic? You can Dispel yeah, Magic in a way. I, I don't think I have it. Dispel Magic. <coughs> I think it's okay, and I think only Ida can do it. Um, awesome. Yeah, but I have heal, um, you know, yeah. I can uh, heal you and your sister. Uh, so you cast Spirit Guardians, and boom, a bunch of philosophy grad students appear. Oh my guys! Oh, what's up? What is up? What's up? Oh, what do we got here? Some kind of like, oh, it's like a sort of off-brand, like, Faye, Elvin mm -hmm, kind of, okay, mm -hmm. great. Oh, we're royal too, oh. What are you guys aloof because of the passage of time or some oh, bullshit? Oh, you guys are just aloof yeah. because you're aloof? You see that one of the spirit guardians yeah, disappears. No, <laughs> we're gonna lose sight of freaking <laughs> off. Look, they're students, they're philosophy yeah, students. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they have to work it out now so they're not annoying adults. Yes, hey, do you want a cortado? <laughs> In unison, they all say, we would love okay, a Cortado. Okay, okay. Uh, incredible. <laughs> There's some mud back there. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. there is an espresso machine in this prison. <laughs> um, Can I say, do the spirit guardians get through the orb, or is the orb totally? 
Wow, those are bad rolls. Um, the Spear Guardians do partially go through the orb. They ah. appear as kind of a radius. Um, every one of the green men fails. Go ahead and roll damage. Yes. Oh, it's 4d8, I believe. Uh, yeah. uh, Can I have a d8 from someone? Uh, are, if you're using a higher level spell slot. I am, is. yeah. Cool. Uh, go for it. Fourth level. All right, 14, 15, 21. Uh, 21 damage on anyone who... Is it your modifier to you, or just the... Um, yeah, you're yeah. Right. So what would I add to it's that? It's just 21. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, you see uh, two of them rush up to you, Kristen. One goes to Fig, one goes to Ida. How do the green men look after getting hit with 21? Uh, they're up, but it, they didn't like that. Um, uh, you see like that as they, they start it. moving, um, you see, uh, uh, you see that one of the guardians start yelling out, in what way do you actually defend the forest? And from what? Do you have any actual participation in the systems that watch ecosystems be destroyed? Or you just kind of march around and do what the elves tell you? And the green men kind of partially disassemble under the weight of those questions. Um, the weight. Uh, cool. Um, uh, ooh, one scores a critical hit on Kristen. Um, uh, shield. Do uh, I have a bonus action after? Yeah. Uh, well, this would be your reaction. reaction. You can reaction. use shield, but it's a critical yeah. hit, so it's going to hit no matter what. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, uh, 9, 14, 15. Uh, you take 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, Here we go. Fig, Fig, you take uh, 12 <laughs> points of damage. All right, Hellish Rebuke. Uh, oh, nice. Go for it. <coughs> I'm one of those green dudes? One of the green yeah. dudes, yeah. Oh, that's great. Cook them. Oh, yeah, I've been oh, there. Oh, that's going to be really uh, great. Five damage is probably bad. You should just try right to get bumped into by all of them Ooh, so that you can hellish rebuke. So poorly. Uh, that's going to be a seven. Uh, seven fire damage. Seven fire damage? Um, that thing hurts. You know that it's not your most powerful hellish rebuke. You see, it hurts this thing quite a lot. Oh, does it now? <laughs> Interesting. Um, awesome. Um, that <coughs> is going to that is the green men's turn as they swing at you. Um, that's now going to be Kier's turn. Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, horrifying. Okay. Did you do a cheese thing? <laughs> Wait, did you do it with... Yeah, he did it. He made it look like Are you doing it? You want me to? I yeah. tried to do it, literally, because I thought you... <laughs> Incredible. In this house, we eat uh, dice. <laughs> you need to, you need to roll In dice, house. pick up cheese, as you pretend to pick up dice. I'm going to roll... Yeah. Um, You do this thing where you um, shake okay. your whole Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna need wisdom saves where the hell from did that go? Kristen, Fig, What's up? Uh, <laughs> and Ida. Ooh, I need this to go well. Uh, 14. Okay. Nap 20. <coughs> go fuck yourself, Kier. Uh, <laughs> uh, you see that Kier no. looks at you and says, leave this place at once. You are unaffected, it looks like Ida's unaffected. Fig is affected by the spell. Kill me. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Ida is next in the initiative. Um, uh, Ida looks at you. Um, hold on one second. And on a roll of a natural 19, dispels nice. the, uh, the, the suggestion on you. Huh. She looks and says, Dad, don't leave. <laughs> ah, I mean, stop, stop, stop. Fig, oh, don't leave. Fig, no. don't leave. Hey, call me wherever you want. You're going to spell me. Um, this uh, fight. Uh, that is Ida's turn, Fig, that is gonna be you. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the Green Guardians and put my base aside and then burning hands them. Hell yeah. Uh, go for it, roll damage. Roll terribly again. Uh, that is going to be a whopping <coughs> six. Okay. But it's a 15 foot cone. 15 foot cone. You can hit all of them in that for sure. Um, uh, it's a deck save for half. Um, hold on one second here. I can't do it at higher levels than the special instant. Okay. Um, two of them save, two do not. How much damage did you do again? Six. Six, okay. 
Uh, that's gonna be. You can't because uh, it's not that good. Or, uh, I can't or? because it's part of my. Um, oh. It's part of my pick. Gotcha. That's cool. Uh, uh, yes, two. Uh, it's a lot of damage across all four of them, though, as you light them up with fire. Um, Adine, that's going to be you. Um, there's really not very much I can do, because mm -hmm. the, there's no spells that can get through the orb, right? But Boggy can turn into a mist and then back again. That's correct. So can I send Boggy to help Fig on these wisdom rolls? Uh, yes, you absolutely can. Great. Uh, awesome. You send Boggy, uh, Boggy rushes out, um, can Adine counterspell from in there, or did I don't have any spells left. No I only spells have three left. first level spells left. Um, uh, that is going to be, um, uh, Anguin is going to go again. Um, I'm going to, uh, he is now going to hit Kristen with a dominate person. I'm gonna need a wisdom saving throw from Kristen. Okay. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> so 14. 14, that is exactly Anguin's DC. Uh, you succeed. Uh, yes. Uh, you Whew. see, he says, come under my control. Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> On the Book of World Religions. <laughs> uh, that is Anguin's turn. Kristen, that's you. Oh, okay, great. I'm going to, um, maybe can I just prepare a Cure Wounds action for when these when we get these bubbles open? Uh, oh, to, to cure wounds on Adam. I actually don't need cure wounds. Like, I, my problem is really I don't have you spell see, slots. The main issue is this orb as well. I don't yeah. know if Kristen has dispel magic prepared. I don't have I don't dispel no magic, yeah. Um, uh, but the main issue is the orb. Um, um, okay, well then I guess I'll just keep... Uh, I'm gonna cast... Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast uh, Blindness on Kier. Cool. Is that a concentration spell? Nope. You have the teddy bear. Nope. No, okay. Have the oh, you have the teddy bear. That's right. Uh, okay. Blindness. Awesome. Uh, hold on one second. You choose a creature you see within range. They make a con, a con saving throw. If okay. You fail, She's got to make a con. How high is that wizard's constitution? <laughs> Not extremely high. I won't lie. But on a natural 17, she does Dang. overcome the blindness. Vroom. Uh You. Oh, oh, sorry. On a uh, higher levels of third or more, you can cast it on an additional creature. Can I do that and also and cast target it on Anguin as well? Anguin, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Do your spirit guardians hit people this round? They hit at the beginning. Uh, of their yes, turn. they hit the beginning of their turn every round. Um, uh, you see the Anguin is. Light blasts out of your crooked staff, and ah, uh, he is uh, completely unable to see. Awesome. Um, uh, now that's going to be the green man again. Uh, at the beginning of their turn, they all make saves from the spirit guardians. Uh, uh, two save, uh, another two do not. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Give it up. Uh, it's, uh, 19. 19. 19, okay. Um, so that's gonna be, uh, When I do that, is that 19 points of damage to each of them? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, uh your, uh, philosophy grad students just again start heckling and be like, What's your whole deal? Why do you exist? Rebel against the conditions of your creation. You clearly have sapience, hey, right? Have you seen Memento? We love that was crazy, Memento. Crazy, right? Uh, complete uh, in uniform sip from all their cortados. Um, uh, you see uh, that uh, here is now going to uh, act. Um, so similar to a different song. I was like, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. It's, um, it's supposed to be, it's like one, it's, de it's truly like. one degree off. But it's not that song. All right? right? Lawyers that show. loves pop punch. Our big, our big two are big CEOs and lawyers. Uh, I'm going to need a charisma saving throw from Kristen. Right. Okay. It's okay. My charisma. 
17 passes. Uh, Kier attempts to banish you, and you are not banished from this realm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Ida rushes forward, hits the orb with dispel magic, and yes. dispels it. Yes. Um, uh, you see, she rushes up, grabs your hands, Adine, mm -hmm. and says, I heard you were kidnapped, so I came to help. Thank you. My sister is also kidnapped. Can you, can you, can you do the... Great, where is we she on, I guess we, yeah, where is she on the earth? Can we teleport she's, there? No, she's, she's like in the next room. Extremely convenient. Yes. And you see that she begins to rush out of the, uh, rush out of the door. And I have my spell prepared, right? Yes, you do. How many of these green guys are left? Um, all four are still up, but they're all looking badly injured. Okay, um, in which case I guess I'll just firebolt one of them. Wait, yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. Yeah, might as well. Nice. Uh, are you going um, after the, the most injured one? Yeah. Cool. Well, go it's two d ten damage, so actually, no, I should go after a different one, right? Uh, well, it's gonna be two d ten, and they are they're vulnerable to fire. Damage, right, exactly. Right? Um, uh, up to you. They're all kind of looking about as injured. As oh, okay. Other. Then I'll go to the. I'll kill the one closest to me. Whatever cool. That is. Go for it. Uh, that's a fifteen to hit. Fifteen. Oh no, seventeen. Sorry. A seventeen to hit. Yeah. Uh, seventeen exactly hits. Great. Nice. Uh, that's 10 damage. Uh, 10 damage. <laughs> you light one of these dudes up. Great. In a big uh, blast of uh, flame. Um, uh, with it, that's your uh, rated action, so that's your reaction. Great. Um, and then can I slap my dad in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you get well, free, no damage. He, he, he can't see it coming, so yeah. free dad slap. Great. Um, uh, free dad slap. You know, sometimes it's a real dad-centric episode. <laughs> um, Hi, Dad. That's going to be your watching. turn. That's me. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to. I don't have any more fire spells. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna. I guess I'm just gonna shatter these. I'm gonna try and shatter as many of these green guys as I can. Okay. Awesome. No worries. Go for it. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um. So they do. Uh, they do a con save. Okay. Uh. Or they take. Twenty-one. Twenty-one damage, mm. half that for anyone who saves. Okay. Um, if it a creature made of inorganic material, such as stone, crystal, or metal, has disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. Um, uh, these guys are not made of stone, crystal, or metal. Um, okay. Uh, I'll hit this power cord. Again, Arthur Eggfort just rocking out in the middle of this room. <laughs> um, uh, these guys are looking messed up for sure. Um, Oh, I also believe uh, uh, I may have actually skipped these guys attacking you. Uh, so we're going to go back and resolve that, I'm afraid. I took Did 19 gotta... from something. Uh, <laughs> that was their first round. That oh, okay. was their first round. Um, uh, that, and what is Kristen's <laughs> AC? That's a uh, hit. 18. Uh, um, you take 11 points of damage as one of them strikes you. One. Um, Two are going for big uh, and hit. Shield. One is converted into a miss. <laughs> um, you take 11 points of damage as well. <laughs> These huge, powerful wooden fists rain down on you. Um, that is fig. Uh, Adam, it's actually back to your turn. Great. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do is. Uh, Kier is still here, right? Correct. Uh, I am going to. Here's the worst. Uh, chromatic orb poison attack her. Awesome. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. 17 hits. Great. Uh, and that's uh, 10 damage again. Goddamn. To Kier? Awesome. To Kier, yeah. 10 poison damage. Uh, that by yeah, poison is a rare kind of damage. Um, she <laughs> vomits as a poison courses through her veins. She says, I don't understand why you have to be so difficult. <laughs> oh, very classy. Um, hey, you... Anna, what do you want to do about your dad? Because, I mean, I mean, I want him to die. Okay, then we'll try to kill him. Great, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's me, Fig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that tracks, yeah. actually. That tracks. 
Uh, Anguin uh, dispels the uh, blindness on himself. Can you dispel something that you can't see? He knows where he is. Right. Um, uh, okay. Uh, let me actually <laughs> the, double check and make sure that blindness is not an inst. Uh, do you have the blindness card there in front of you, Kristen? I certainly do. Uh, is, is, is the duration instantaneous on it? Is it a thing where it creates a permanent effect? Uh, let me, let me go no, ahead and on see. a success, the spell. The spell <coughs> uh, let me go ahead and take a look at the card real quick. Um, also, spirit guardians, I forgot, halves anyone who takes damage from it. They're, uh, they're oh, okay, he uh, actually right. keeps making the con save. Well, he's not gonna wait around for that con save. He's gonna dispel that. Um, Anguin looks at the badly hurt green men and at uh, Kier here as well. Uh, Anguin tries to run. Turns invisible. Oh, oh bitch. Um, uh, Kristen, that is your turn. Okay, uh, there's a lot of like commotion and Kier's throwing up, right? Yes, correct. Okay, I would like to appear behind her <laughs> and I would like to put my hand on her back and say, you're on the wrong side, but you could join us if you want, and then cast Banishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh then banish my God. God. <laughs> Just to give her time to think, you know? <laughs> kind of out of this. We'll bring Not her back. Step. Okay. I like the part where you disappear and reappear. <laughs> <laughs> Like hey, um, slowly. Just something to think about. I think that is gonna break your spirit guardians. No, because I have teddy bear to. Oh, yeah. Two there concentrations. Okay. Two play concentration. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and see about this. Um, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so the the next. So Kier's got one shot at this. Mm-hmm. It's a charisma saving throw. She doesn't seem very charismatic to me. Yeah. I'm She's actually got a hit, a 16 or higher, Ooh. in the box of doom wow. right now. Ooh. No way, no way. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. On a nat one, yeah. she's gone, baby. Bye, friend. Bye. I kiss her on the side of the head. Bye. Uh, <laughs> you see, she says, oh, you're so <laughs> uh, And you see that, yeah. Um, uh, Ta-ta. Uh, all of your cortana. all of your philosophy grads raise their cortadas and they're like, Kristen. Um, uh, guys, guys, yeah. please. <laughs> Let's uh, hang out after this, right? <laughs> um, next is gonna be uh, the green men who once again are gonna make their saves. Um, God, the highest roll was a five. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Hey, Thank Thank you. Go. All right, come on, let's get a good one. Yeah. Kids killing it. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um uh one of the badly hurt Greenman, it's got hit by that shatter and the burning hands before. Um you see a grad student walks up and just goes again like So again, you do have a mind, but it's made of magic, but you follow orders. What does the plant motif have to do with imprisoning these children. I just don't, and you see the green man just says, forget it, and unravels, <laughs> just, just, just like get away from the uh, grad student. Uh, and it's unmade, and that was what, you said 17 damage? 17. Okay, um, so that's gonna be seven, uh, 84. These guys are looking messed up. Um, the, uh, Kier is fully banished. Um, Ida runs in from the other room holding Aelwyn in her arms. Nice. Let's uh, get out of here. No, uh, I need my spell book. Uh, I have a spell book. They're on the first floor. They're on the first floor? I can't do anything if I don't have my spell book. Can we start messaging? Because we don't know where your dad is. Yeah, sure, yeah. We can, yeah. We can do um, this in Smart. Uh, uh, Fig, that is going to be your turn All right. next. All um, right. Can I? From daddy. I want to kind of reach out and touch. Can daddy I use Bestow hear. Curse <laughs> to try and make him uninvisible? Because um, it says that you can uh, uh, remove, uh, it says like at the DM's option, you may choose an alternative curse effect. So I want to try and reach out and touch him and make him uninvisible. What I'm going to need from you is a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> and you're trying to spot, because you're trying to, you're tr like, this, I would let the spell right. do something cool, but you got to know where the guy is. All right, I can't do that. Can um, I, but can Bobby give her the health action? Okay. I so still have a plus two to perception, so it's not really worth it. Mm. Um, 
What if I if I just try to attack him? Would I just attack with There's, disadvantage? You don't know where you're attacking. He's gone invisible. You might have run, run too. He had movement. What about yeah. if Kristen tries to just hit it with her stop again and rolls it? I will also point out you do have around. these you have these big green men yeah. that are raining blows down. All right, I'll just do one more shatter on them. Okay. I rolled oh my three God. one. No. Oh, no. I have rolled one, 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 two, three. All right. Take uh, three, uh, three damage, two. bitch. Four and a half of that. Hey, do you want me I to walk get you out a the cup window. of water? <laughs> yeah, you can dip them in a cup of water and then you can quit your spell class. Um, <laughs> uh, Adine, that is you. Um, I am going to... I actually have good perception. Yeah. So can I grab Boggy back and try and find my dad? Yes, you can. Great. Go ahead and give me a perception check. With just regular flat? Uh, regular flat. Ooh, baby, that's a 23. You hear a pitter-patter of feet running down the hallway. Um, can I um, shoot a firebolt down the hallway? Yes, you can. You're, because you got that perception check, I will let you make the attack on the correct square. Great. You're still rolling with disadvantage because you're effectively blinded. You can't see. It. Great. Uh, nine. Uh, Firebolt shoots down the hallway. Um, you see a little scrap of burning robe come out from invisibility as the steps make their way down the stairs. Um, that's Adine's turn. Ooh. But if you uh, if you can I do oh sorry. Oh if it's he actually Angwin's turn next in the initiative and he flees down the staircase. Can I do a perception check to make sure he's not going to the vault where At the this point Adine had to follow him out into the hallway. Oh got it. So, okay. Wait, uh, okay. Um, so it I, is it is your he, turn. Now. He was too far away, sorry, when I shot him and I saw that piece of burning rope for me to like run after him and jump on his back, right? Well you'd already taken your action to take the attack. Right. Right? Sure. Uh, I run out there. Okay. Uh, and he went that way. He went yeah. the Can I do a perception check to see if he's going to this like vault that we need to go to next? What's that? Sorry. Can I see if he's going to the vault to steal the spell books? Well, you know that he's running downstairs. The tower is small enough that there's not too many. It's not like the tower has tons of hallways and rooms. It's kind mm -hmm. of like each level okay. is. Okay. I have a crazy idea. Let's hear. Okay, I still have my ribbon dancer. We all know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I whip it and I fly down, instead of taking the stairs down this tower, I fall majestically down with, with your ribbon. minus three decks. Okay. Wait, you're just gonna jump out the window of the tower? No, no, down into the middle, right? Where like the courtyard is? Just just try to whip one or two uh, down, you know? Great, so uh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna allow this to happen. Uh -huh. Hey Allie, uh -huh. I'm gonna allow you this to happen. You don't want this to happen. So, this to happen. This is really uh -huh. bad. This is such um, a bad idea. So, so <laughs> what's, what's gonna happen is this. The skill that feels most like doing a beautiful <laughs> ribbon dance to me is acrobatics. Is that legend? You're just gonna look really good while you curl so, on the ground. So just go ahead in the box of doom, if you'd be so kind, and just give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> Allie, My I, acrobatics why? is negative three. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm going to the end. You I said you did it. Jump. Jump. We like to ask Brennan for cool jump. things. Jump. Jump. All right. jump. 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 If you get jump. that now, it's going to feel so good. That's a 17. Hey. Oh, Minus why? three 14. is a 14. So you leap out the window. <laughs> now, I want Allie, I want you to look at me. Uh -huh. And you tell me, do you feel <laughs> like a 14? Mm -hmm. is a high enough roll <laughs> for your character to be able to use a dance ribbon mm. to fly. <laughs> Bearing in mind that if I say That's yes, so that if I say yes now, uh -huh. I have to say yes every other time you want to do this. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, 14, it's above average. Um, Don't pay any attention to this noise. <laughs> oh, no. You guys just see the most okay. insane things. Kristen just okay. like this. I'm not trying to like fly. Sure, right? you're trying to descend. <laughs> I'm just trying, How I'm many trying stories to grapple. Is this? It's ten. like a grappling hook. It's ten stories? It's a, is it ten stories? It's ten stories. Oh, I'm just trying to grapple. <laughs> I'm trying to grapple 
three flights down so that I can cut off uh, her dad. Yeah, that kind of precision. Okay, cool. So you're just gonna try to nail this at just, you're gonna try to cap this graceful fall mm -hmm. at 10 stories. No, cool. do you understand, like, I'm jumping with the ribbon dancer like this, you know, to fly. Sure, cool. You know, I don't know if you understand. It's like to fly. Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna try to go a quick three stories down using a ribbon dance to do that. Uh, an ability nowhere on your character sheet. Uh, uh, the ribbon dancer is written have, on my character. You have four dexterity. So, 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 no, so not here's the modifier four. Here's the thing. Four. I'm going to allow you to to avert this because I don't want anyone to say that I was cruel or mean uh -huh. or unfair. Yeah. Right. So so all I'm going to ask is this: mm -hmm. hit a 15 acrobatics check for me right now. Box Another one. Yeah, to just to, to like Indiana Jones using a ribbon as a bullwhip. Yeah. Oh. See, you let Indiana Jones do it, and that's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> no one respects femininity in this country. <laughs> <laughs> you alleyed out of the box of doom <laughs> across my lap. <laughs> okay, that's a natural two. Interesting. So that's Actual a negative nice one. one. I really thought this was going to be one of those crazy um, alley I, I moments. Was, I didn't want to say it to so, Jason. We don't know what the moves. first one landed on, though. Okay. That's so, true. The first one is kind of. Here's your die back. Thank you. So the what happens is this. Kristen, you were like, you were like, I have got to get to the first Listen, floor before here angry. Go. Here, I have great mm -hmm. news. You make it to the first floor <laughs> way before Angwin does, right? And the reason for that is... Why, why is that? It's 16. Woo, 23. <laughs> you take... Can we say the ribbon wraps around me and makes sort of a cushion? Cool. Here's what we are going to say. Kristen, to get to the first floor, you take your ribbon, twirl, leap out the window, and take 36 points of damage. That's so as you, as Absolutely you, worth it. As you, Hell yeah. ha, 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 and you fucking <laughs> land on your leg and, and roll and snap your ankle. All right, I do have three points left. <laughs> Can you okay. uh, bonus action heal yourself? Yeah, I would like to bonus action heal myself. Heal yourself, give yourself a healing word. Love it. Oh, I was stress eating celery in that moment. That was crazy. <laughs> it's so funny oh my how God, often you tried to incredible. jump on things with the worst decks I have ever seen. I have a ribbon dancer, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> For sure. Some Absolutely. of us are getting more into dance in this episode. Yeah, you just like, wouldn't understand. How dare you? I how love dare you. It worked out I really great dance. for you. I, I saw you do it and I was like, go off. What's his deck? <laughs> <laughs> Your modifier is bigger than their total. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. My modifier is five, which is That's more incredible. than their full attributes. <laughs> full That's so total funny. Total. Oh, that makes me it's laugh. It's the lowest a lot. score I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I can't like, even roll I a can't, full. I can't believe you, you did. Because you rolled five dice okay. and take the three highest. So ones. here's the thing. I'm just gonna say that's Kristen's <laughs> movement. I'm gonna say that you leap out of the window, yeah. fall a hundred, fall a hundred <laughs> feet, feet, or, or let me see. No, uh, yeah, about uh, yeah. Uh, about a hundred feet. Um, mm -hmm. um, hit the ground, take that damage, but uh, you have an action left if you would like it. Right. Um, I'm gonna cast uh, Zone of Truth. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? I'm on an invisible cast man? Zone of truth right outside of the vault, and while I lay there, not really able to do very much. Just in case we catch him, then we can ask him questions. Cool. We can figure Get out. Got a badly out. broken leg. You cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> now can I heal uh, yourself? You no, know oh, I did. I did a healing. Did on myself, healing yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're at nine. Don't worry. Oh, wait. Actually, I get bonus points. Plus uh, that okay. He knows um, he's a bad guy. Uh, these guys are going to take some swings. Look, we don't know. They, maybe they know more about this. I think the, he's just uh, going to... I'm pretty sure he's just going to get away. You get hit for 11 points of damage <laughs> okay. um, uh, from one of the uh, green men. Adine, you're going to get hit for some as well. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, shield? Is that... Okay. The, the One of them is bypassed. A critical hit still hits you for eight, seven... 15, uh, for 18 points of damage, one, boom, uh, wallops you. Um, uh, that is going to be, Kier is still banished. Oh, actually, I'm gonna need Kristen to make a concentration check. For, oh, for because you took, what, 36 points of damage? Mm -hmm. So that's halved to 18. So you gotta get an 18 constitution saving throw. So you gotta get 16 or higher. Okay. For Oh, 10. Kier returns into the room when you hit the bottom of the courtyard. 
Um, as she does. Uh, Wait, but was the teddy bear the one focusing on yeah, that what one? Should the, should, what's the teddy bear's Whoa. stance? If the teddy bear was concentrating on it. Yeah, I feel like that teddy bear has a plus five to concentrate. Also, I think like, so a teddy I'm gonna bear roll a luck check in the box of doom. Uh -huh. One through 10, it was the bear that takes no damage. 11 through 20, it was Kristen. It's a 15, it was Kristen. Oh, oh damn it. Do uh, I look good down here? <laughs> I look, I look, do I look intimidating yeah. to fucking care? Hey, and yeah. there's his own truth, so we can't lie. So, um, do we're I? definitely there. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. Uh, I, I take some pictures in case you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spring break! At the end of a 10, ten stories down, you take a little grainy yeah. photo of me. With like, and like in the foreground is the ribbon dancer, which did successfully grab onto the It's nook still of it. falling. Yeah. There's a cat filter on your face. <laughs> I take a boomerang. It's really, really. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we came in here with a plan, just like the guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're rolling too many dice back then, man. No, no, no. Um. Adine, you take. Mm. I still have shield up. Is that? Oh, this is from the crit? Uh, no, this is this hits regardless. Okay. You take uh, nine points of fire damage. Okay. Um, Fig, you take... I, I took 11. From the green man. Oh, this is from someone this else. This is from Kier, who's back. Um, Dang, Kier. Uh, you take 17 points of fire damage, halved to eight. Um, oh, right. And then Ida gets uh, some fire damage, which she is fully immune to. Um, cool. Um, uh, as Kier just lights you guys up with a bunch of rays, rays of flame. Dare uh, you do that to Arthur Eggford? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, Ida goes, please stop that. <laughs> I know, but see, it's intimidating. It can't for them. possibly be helping <laughs> us more than it's hurting us. Does Aylwin have okay. cantrips? Is she. Um, how's she doing? Uh, Aylwin's looking uh, comatose. Oh, okay. She's looking sort of... So you're saying that she doesn't have any ray of frost that she can just pull out of her ass? Does after? not look like it. All right, well, you know, worth a, worth a go. I message her, wake up, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ida is gonna go ahead um, and hit Kier with something. Um, Kier's gonna make another charisma saving throw. Kier, once again, has to hit a 16 or higher. <coughs> Box of Doom. Ain't gonna happen on spring break. No way, spring break. sorry. Not on spring As a natural three. Hey. Um, ah. that simply can't happen on spring break. Uh, you see that Idol walks over and says, my friend Kristen did this. Mwah! And gives a kiss, <laughs> uh, sort of loudly pronouncing ah. mwah. Uh, and here goes, not again! And vanishes into a banishment spell. <laughs> Um, yes, I wasn't there, but yes. <laughs> uh, Fig, that is back your turn. Okay, Adam, do you want to get to that spell, that spell book before your dad does? Oh yeah, I do. Uh, describe the room to me. It's a vault, and it's on the first floor. I grab her by the shoulders, and then dimension door down. Uh, into hell this yeah! Vault. Uh, you dimension door. Boom. Uh, the normal protections that would pr uh, safeguard the vault against these sorts of intrusions have been unmade by your party members abroad at the elemental pylons. Spring break! Uh, <laughs> uh, spring Dale Yes. As Do I hear them like, arrive? Can I be like, I'm out here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have my movement, right? Yes, you do. So I want to run to the door leaving so that I can try and prevent the invisible man from getting out. So I want to occupy that door. Um, well, you know, you've made it down here definitely before Angwin is down here. Yeah. And so you see oh, that the vault fact, door. I want to go to the. I want to go and hold my leg out mm -hmm. um, for like the stairs. Oh, okay. Well, you see, there's a big locked vault door that hasn't been opened yet because no one's arrived here to open. <laughs> oh, thought, I sorry. I thought we went into that vault. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. You guys are you guys are teleported okay. into the vault. Great. There's a bit. You're, there's the inside of the big locked door. Um, that's where Anguin's gonna come from if he comes here. Oh, um, okay. So you're, in the, you're, in a, you're in a dark room that is, you know, uh, you've teleported into. Okay, then I wanna, can I like do like a stealth check or something to trip him when he runs in? Uh, yeah, you can prepare an action to attack him when he runs in, absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, you might not be coming to get the spell. <laughs> Add on, that's going to be you. Uh, can I, um, with Boggy giving me the help action, search this vault? Go ahead and give me either investigation or arcana. Great. Well, I rolled a three and a two. Oh no! So I got a ten. Okay. Um, uh, it's, it's, right now it's pitch black in here. Um, and even with okay. your dark, even with Elven, like, dark vision, uh -huh. it's hard for you to see, without light, it's hard to see okay. what would have magical auras and what would be otherwise okay. like. Okay, is there even at least, like, I realize as a, as a, a high elf, I actually have proficiency in, um, swords and daggers. Uh-huh. I don't have any spells left. Yeah. I have one first level spell left, but are there weapons that I can grab? Uh, absolutely. You want to just grab a weapon? Yeah. Um, you reach out, there's a random sword hanging on a wall or something. As you pull it, it you go, shing, and the vault fills with gleaming green golden light as this long, whip-thin elven sword springs to life in your hand, and the voices of your ancestors cry, Fandrangle, sword of the elven kings, forged oh in ages long past. Are you going to do this every time I draw you? Every time. Great. Can you help me find my spell book? Uh, I don't have eyes. Just, okay, well, you're at least light in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly we prefer to be used for fighting. Yes, 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 yes. Right, yes. Obviously, yes. <laughs> you just have this big glow stick sword. Is, you feel its ego extremely injured. You're being very useful right now. Uh, we, uh, useful is sort of not... Mm, uh, very dangerously useful. Uh, okay. You should meet my investigate spell. I feel like you'd get on very well. All right. Ha ha! <laughs> um, uh, incredible. Um, uh, Fig, the vault door crank opens and- Wait, if I'm out there, can I, do I get an attack of opportunity? You don't see anything approaching. Mm. Um, uh, but you, you do see the wheels start to spin. Hey. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> but the difference is, uh, the door What's opens, <laughs> um, the door opens, go ahead and take your attack roll with disadvantage. The disadvantage, okay. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Nat one. Oh, oh no! no. I, I rolled the so same! <laughs> oh, I'm so <sighs> sorry. Um, uh, uh, so you take a swing, but you do hear a yelp from Anguin as he rushes into the vault. It's like, huh! Um, I found him! I found him! Everyone attack! Uh, Kristen, that's you Let's outside go. on the court. Okay, um, I would like to, uh, <laughs> well, first I'm gonna cast a little mass healing word on myself. Yes! Okay. Yeah. Oh, are we within 60 feet of Kristen? You are, if you wanna hit Fig with that yeah, as well, you can. Yup, you all just got a 12, and you don't get anything in addition, but I do. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to, uh, are my spirit guardians, do they follow me down? They do, yeah, Okay, absolutely. so would he have passed through Ooh, them? Ooh, that is a great point. He's gonna roll. Nice. Uh, he rolls a natural one. Yes. Go ahead okay. and roll damage if you can so it. kind. Uh, I get one more. One more D8, yeah, yeah, go for it. Sorry. Oh, here it is, sorry. Okay, uh, that's 7, 14. <laughs> 22. Ooh. Uh, That's right, baby. Um, uh, you see that your grad students are confused because they don't know who they're yelling at. So they just go like, hey, fuck this invisible guy. Fuck this guy. <laughs> he runs by, um, opens the door, and then uh, springs out into this room where he gets swung at by a bass guitar. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, then I'm just going to use my turn to help uh, try to find the spell books. Uh, uh, so you cast the bonus action. Um, your, your spirit guards do the thing. Go ahead. Um, do you want to give, uh, do, you, do you want to take investigation or arcana? You can also do a religion check. If you yeah, want religion to. would be great, because I get advantage on that. Go for it. Okay. Oh, I'll bonus action bardic inspiration you. Woo! Uh, uh, that woo! was religion. Yeah, 21. Uh, you go over and find a massive religious tome packed with notes over in a section of the vault. Okay, cool. I grab that, and then I do kind of like a... Like a, I, I wrap my body around it in a ball on the ground so no one can take it. Cool, you like just <laughs> huddle around. Invisible, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, wait, when you get hit when you're invisible, Does you have to do a concentration check. Uh, oh, Anguin? Yeah. Oh, he took damage. He does have to do that. Eleven, right? Because it was twenty-two. Twenty-two points of damage. Get him, Murph. 
Yeah. Damn it. Uh, we'll do good. we'll do it box of doom style. He's got to roll an eleven or higher. That's a natural three. Hey. I'm gonna need you to re-roll your attack roll yes. because he's not invisible when he comes into the vault. Does any fifteen hit? Fifteen exactly hits. Yes. yes. Psychic blades. I'm adding break. my psychic blades. It's blade. spring break, baby. It's spring break. <laughs> Spring Good break. bit of rules, lawyer. I think Zach pointed it out. 11. I, 11, lo I love to see 22. it. <laughs> I love to see it. 27 damage, bitch. So you see he comes Eat in, my shit. your grad students like grab the spell uh. off of him. He swings the vault and says, you are a horrible, nasty little human. Bang! Like El Cabong. <laughs> Just bass guitar to the head. His teeth fly out of his mouth and he is unconscious wow. on the uh, ground. You're more yeah. a spider than you wow. are a father. Oh, you couldn't hear that. Can I drag that. him I into the zone so of truth? So that he can hear that and then kill him. <laughs> What's this? Can I drag him into the zone of truth while they're finding the other book? Yes, you drag okay, him Okay, I hand in. the book to Adine and I drag like him into the zone of truth. Oh, can I actually what? close this vault so we can trap him in here so he doesn't Wait, do no, my spell book is to limit. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're, well, we're, we're so outside. You guys <laughs> hear an enormous down. explosion from up in the top of the tower. Um, uh, and you hear Ida call down and say, I destroyed the green men, the last ones. They were still up here, more bad guys. I don't know if that was a priority. You did great, thank you. Thank you very much for your compliment. Thank it means you. a lot. You Come on friends. down and hang. Ah! Come on down, bring my sister, please. Truth. Bring my sister, please. Um, oh, right. Uh, incredible. Um, we are out of combat. Oh, amazing. Um, Can I, okay. You guys see, however, um, uh, as you guys are down here, uh, that, uh, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys rush in, um, uh, Ida swoops down on you guys and says, we have less than a minute left before Akir returns. Okay. I'm gonna um, use that minute to look for something about gems in this special vault. I'm gonna let all of you guys make one last roll for the vault. Tell me the skill you're using, because Ida is getting ready to okay. invisibilize everybody cool, cool. and get the Is your sister <laughs> there too? Uh, yes, Ida's holding your sister in her arms. Uh, I'm gonna use an arcana check with Boggy to help me. Uh, absolutely, go ahead and make your arcana check. Okay, that's a net 20. Yay! Yay! All right, okay, Baby. all right. You find cordoned off using the light from, from Van Drengur. Um, you find a quarantined series of elven scroll cases that is labeled basically top secret, classified, confidential. This is the research of Ariane Wen Abernet. You found your mom's research. Um, and my spellbook and elven spellbook? Um, your spellbook and elven spellbook, Great. yes. Cool. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, I would like to use uh, religion, and I'm looking for anything Nightmare King related, if there's anything like that. Go for it. Go. Oh, that one's cocked. Uh, okay. Uh, 17? Uh, 17. As uh, uh, Adine is going through her mom's stuff, um, you find a series of notes uh, looking for the location of a temple within Silver that Arion was looking for. Um, and you see it and immediately know that Arion might not have known where this was, but you do. The book that you and Riz found in the Compass Points Library. Cool. Um, and let me get one from Fig as, w as well, if you want. Okay, I'm gonna do a persuasion check. Hell yeah. And I'm gonna play like a really, um, a really sick riff um, that makes all the gems dance. And just like try and like suss out <laughs> any sort of what? I don't have any other good skills. This is what I do, and it's all that I do. <laughs> You're gonna do a gem <laughs> dance. Um, the gems are gonna dance. Um, and reveal themselves. Okay, awesome. okay. Uh, go I jumped out the window. Uh, go ahead. I can't yeah. laugh at you. Uh, what what I give me, a, give me, a, give me anything uh, else. Give me a performance check. Okay, <laughs> performance or persuasion. Uh, uh, you I could do performance. Do performance. You're okay. Trying to persuade some gems. <laughs> okay, nineteen. Cool. Um, you hit a tasty chord, and you see that there's a large gem built into the base of Calathriel Tower. You go. Brum. Um, the gem cracks, and uh, you see the tower begins to collapse. <laughs> <laughs> 
ready to run. Time to go. <laughs> Ida goes, I think it's time to leave. And she grabs you guys. I grab a shard. Um, uh, actually, I will say this. Um, you do see something here in the vault, uh, specifically about gem lore, also in the section of Ariane Wynn's research that Adine was going through. <coughs> um, so you grab another thing having to do with gems, and you guys uh, peace the fuck out. Awesome. Ida invisibilizes everybody. Couldn't have gone better. Uh, <laughs> Just yeah. hobbling. Couldn't have gone game. better. Guys, you know, great you know, work out there. Good thing me and my girlfriend are on such good terms. She can nurse me back to health. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you and Traka fight? We got in a little, we got in a little. Um, you guys, <laughs> yeah, we, we got a little. Okay. You guys race out. Good. I'm going to say that, um, uh, yeah. As you guys all uh, leave from this place, you guys reconvene in the forest around the hang van. Um, uh, the three uh, spring break boys from the forge uh, rush back into the van as the group flies in from the far ridge and the group that was hitting Calethriel Tower uh, appears uh, uh, at the van. Um, you see Ida looks at everybody and says, all right, what was the plan? Now what do we do? Do we, we, we have the hirelings? Are they? Yes, the hirelings have all come back. Uh, we have we have Adine's dad, right? Uh, uh, if you guys want to, you can, or you can have left him. I want to bring him. I want him to. Do you think he too. casts plane shift? You think that you can make him cast plane shift? I, I don't remember how horrible he used to work. Well, with. he sucks. I want him well, to then die. Well, why don't we just kill him? Let's kill him. I don't okay. know about we killing kill your dad. Uh, he I'm gonna say this. I don't. With the tower collapsing around you, I don't know that you guys would have had any more time. Great, so we just leave him under the rubble? I think you just leave him Works under the rubble. for me. Oh, wait, I must have some kind of re- Oh, no, I don't think I have anything I can do. Oh, I you guys, I you, guys, you guys were putting oh your God. focus primarily on yeah, get, getting stuff. your shit out of the vault. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, oh, fuck, I should've just killed your dad. I don't um, know that we gotta kill people's <laughs> dads. Oh, I'm, I'm saying yes. Yeah, that's, sure. why, that's why I asked Adam to be here. I'm in the camp good, too. Good you to just see you. I don't know. I just says, owned him, uh, but you just says, have a good time. I don't mean to shout or be rude, but it's very important that we do something quickly. I at least um, take a pack of clove cigarettes, light it on fire, and throw it behind me to hopefully <laughs> increase the damage to him. Just. Just from the carcinogens and the clothes? No, because it would maybe be like starting oh, like, like right? yeah. yeah. fire. Oh, like the whole pack. Like the whole pack. Take Just out sort all of the like cigarettes. Like a stone like ball. All, my, all my philosophy majors were like, oh, oh, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yep, all right, yep, well, we just fought a bunch of fire elementals. Does anybody um, have any clues as to where we should go next? Because we should teleport there. We should teleport the fuck out Silver. of here. Silver. Um, uh, Silver. We right. need to get back to the van. Can we teleport to Silver? Ida says, I don't know anywhere in Silver to teleport to. Cool. I can either take us back to Leviathan or we could go back to uh, uh, Kylo Manura under a Fabian's grandfather's that. protection. Let's do that. Are we going, uh, yes, to Kylo Manura. Um, uh, Ida, <laughs> fire, and Phoenix Feathers. You guys arrive in Kylo Manura. Um, you see that uh, Fabian, uh, your grandfather, Telemai, looks at you and says, my grandson, Something has changed in you. I left my jacket. No! <laughs> oh, did you? You don't, because all your gear was there, your spell oh, my gear was, oh, I got my, my jacket. Yeah, all with... of it was, was in the same, same quarantined. Okay, okay good. You got I'm your jacket, you got your <laughs> shit. <laughs> it would be, yeah, they wouldn't, they, they were not so paranoid that they would I be like, I take my anxiety you medication. Know, you know, it would be yeah. like, yeah. Um, yeah, you take your anxiety meds. Um, uh, cool. Um, all of you uh, are here in the gardens of Kylo Manura. Um, you look around and are seeing this for the first time, Adine. This is beautiful. Adine, good to have what you back. What are these grapes? We support you. Don't eat the grape. Don't eat the grape. Don't eat the grape. They kind of see, or it's, I think you could eat a grape. It just, it's, we don't know. Uh, Wait, it's a thing. Now. It we just makes you not horny. Yeah. I think. Uh, a lot of love, <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot of love is showered on you, Adine, by the other Highlands. Well, Cathilda gives you a kiss on the cheek. Sandra Lynn claps you on the back and rubs your shoulder, and everyone's very happy to see you alive. Welcome now. back, Adine. Thank you. Thank you. We killed that guy that we were fighting. The um, who? Captain. Captain. Captain Wicklaw. I oh, actually had his sword. I would have given it to you, and no. it would have been a whole thing. Except I had to leave it to be a good person. He seemed bad, and his sword seemed bad. Yeah. And I guess I have this now? I see that we have your, should we, I guess, 
I guess we have like your sister's I need to sleep. now. What's up with your she sister? Needs to you see, evil. Telamai looks at that and says, Fandrango, the sword of the North Star. I made that a long time ago. Oh, it's what? beautiful. No way. Very cool. Thank you. Do you still make weapons? Yes, I am the greatest elven sword. It'll take him for like 300 years. Do you have a one that you weapon. already made that your grandson can have? What? He looks and says, a sword worthy of my grandson. Or maybe just like a barbed sheet. A barbed <laughs> sheet? <laughs> yeah, they, he can oh. whip around. You know, like if a sheet had like little. If a sheet looked inviting but hurt. I take the sword and plant it in front of Fabian. Is it... <laughs> I pick it up. You wield it well. Fabian out of my eyes. <laughs> All right, just say his name again. <laughs> no, you don't have to. <laughs> I, I understand that I mispronounced it the first time. Oh, you worked and on it? I did. The proper I want you to know that I... Judge. George. <laughs> it, I, George. I prefer the way you pronounce it. I want you to know that I respect you and you deserve to have your name pronounced correctly. Thank you. I'm going to say your name now. I believe this is my best effort to get it right. I can't wait. <laughs> Chet. <laughs> Jed? Chet. Chet? 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 The thing is, I'm Jed. Your name is Chet? There are hard G's in High Elvish. It sounds like literally no sound was correct in that. <laughs> you see, he cries a little bit. <laughs> You're good at other things. I'm really You're good at other things. I'm really embarrassed. We learned a lot on spring I'm going to go outside for a little bit, but I really appreciate that you're tough. I'm going to sleep. Gorgug, how did you make that call before when you were able to call Zelda? Ida Eckford has the sending spell. And and maybe... I have it too if I sleep. Goodbye. Ida, you know Ida? Yes, you over and speak to Ida, yeah. Hey, do you think I could maybe use your sending spell to talk to someone back home really quick? Yes. Great. 150 uh, gold. I will absolutely give you, my friend, money. Um, Is and... that normal? <clears throat> Is it strange or bad that I'm doing that? No, I think it's fine. I have much more money than you. I guess that's an assumption, but we got a lot of money from <laughs> A recent thing. Anyway, I would like to uh, send a message to Jawbone, my counselor, mm -hmm. and I just want to say, like, uh, just, I'm, I'm having a, some relationship woes, and I just want a little advice, and I want to put some of that in there. All right, give me 150 gold pieces. Of there. course, yeah. Okay, so let's see. That's 50, uh, 75, 80. Uh, it might 80. not be the most financially um, sound plan to have a bunch of 150 gold transactions back and forth for a conversation. Just, it's your money. Do whatever you want. It's 150 gold per. Well, I think it's sending is one message there, one message back, and it's 25 words. Just wait for me to rest. It takes four hours. I can't do that. All right, I'll start with this, and then I'll then I'll switch over to your message. Cool. I got three hundred for this. I really need an answer. <laughs> I keep saying the wrong thing. Um, <laughs> you see that? Uh, uh, cool. What is the message that Kristen sends to Joe? Uh, okay, it says, Jawbone. <laughs> Jawbone. Hey, having some trouble with Tracker. She's pretty upset at me, I keep saying the wrong thing. I kept something from her. Oops. Um, you send that message, you immediately get a response back oh. uh, from Jawbone saying, um, tough break, kiddo. Happy to help if I can. Should I find a way to contact you other than this spell. Yes. Oh, I can't say anything. You'd have to respond back. Ah, God damn it, right <laughs> 150, and it says, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, you get a response back. Hell yeah. Um, you can uh, borrow my phone if you want. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your phone doesn't work. Oh. It, oh. Can you I also, just like, threw it in the river, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, no, this is the new phone the that I got. Oh, uh, yeah, like a brick phone. Right? <laughs> um, 
uh, incredible. <coughs> you guys are healed up. Can I dance I think it's all at, night? <laughs> Fabian dances. I don't want to rest. I would like to dance the fire, like dance with the uh, fire. Give me a perform. Give me, give me an acrobatics check with advantage if you'd be so kind. Oh, advantage. He's, he's got fire in his belly now. Oh, uh, that's a one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give him a help action or something? I don't know. This is too sad. Oh, uh, psychic inspiration! But he's dancing like nobody's watching. Yeah. So if I this is brave. Uh, in a way, uh, I just Fabian, think you're just he's so brave. in the groove so of it. Um, you do see that your footsteps like light the ground behind you with the dull glow of flame as you dance and dance and dance like nobody is watching. Um, uh, Fabian. It's a beautiful night of just being in touch with your body, your feelings. Um, and uh, for the rest of you guys. I think I want to, like, as Adine's going to sleep, uh, I just want to poke her and go, hey, Adine, is your sister still, like, trying to kill us? Because she's just kind of here now. I don't think so. I think that she's maybe, she's just, they kept her awake for, like, five months. Okay. And yeah. it broke her brain. Um, and, like, I. That's so bad that I had to rescue her. Uh, Ida actually comes in with Aelwyn um, and looks up at you and says, um, may I deposit this sister of yours in here with you? Yes. Um, you see, she lays Aelwyn on the bed. Aelwyn is outside of the orb. You see that her body is still shaking from like the strain. Can of I effort. hold her as we go to sleep? Aww. Aww. You hold her as you go to sleep. Um, and both of you are just out like lights. That's so sweet. Um, <laughs> Riz just slowly backs out. <laughs> both of you trance for the first time in so long. Um, and as you trance uh, in the night, um, you can almost feel your sister. Um, uh, she doesn't have any magic left and is too exhausted. She just was in this position for too long. As you start resting to get your spells back, you feel a tiny piece of your sister's abjurative magic, like the innate kind of cantrip. It's her abjurer's ward, like her class ability. As she begins to get her energy back from resting, you feel her begin to build a shield around you in the night as you both trance. Um, uh, Ida, uh, comes out and finds you, Fig, um, and says, I think Adine is very grateful that we rescued her. Um, yeah. uh, you fight very bravely and... Um, Thank you, this was not my best work today. You see, uh, she says, um, you are extremely loud and funny and charming and you talk loudly. Um, and that's so exciting. Thank you so much. I mean, you're really direct and analytical and you kind of deconstruct things before my eyes and make me see them in a different way. And I really like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of things I take for granted, you really think through. Uh, just tears of flame streak down her face. <laughs> I see you cry fire, which is awesome. And check it out. Um, you see that uh, as you touch it and it doesn't burn your finger, she goes, ha! That's something we have in common. Yeah. That's right. bonding. That's bonding. Yep. Um, I live on an island full of nasty, dirty pirates that <laughs> don't have any other young women to hang out with. And this has just been so huge for me. And you're so cool and kind. Why don't you just come hang out with us? Why okay. don't you just keep hanging out with us? Okay. The library can run itself. I'm I mean, the man who works at the front, he was really on the ball. <laughs> you see, really you see she says, that's not been my experience of Rollins. <laughs> okay, from my experience, I was like, whoo, that's a fast man. <laughs> I, running's all he's good for. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Wasn't that you? Right? It was you, it was you. <laughs> the Lord, the fast librarian. <laughs> Uh, incredible. Um, um, she looks and says, uh, I think Adine and her sister Aylwin probably just need to rest. Yeah. Um, are you, <coughs> I need to fully sleep. Do you fully sleep as well? Yeah. Are you feeling tired from the battle? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it up. Are you asking to have a slumber party? Because <laughs> if you're not, Crying. I am. 
Yes. Okay, you're asking that because you want it, and it wouldn't be weird for me to also want that. Look, I understand. I understand that you probably meet a lot of people that say what they don't mean, but I pretty much across the board say what I mean. But I usually look like someone else. Okay. <laughs> but I mean what I say. Okay. I'm gonna lie down next to you while we sleep because okay. I have not had a friend like that before. Yeah, let's and do it. And I'm gonna really take my cues from you about what's normal about that. Okay, <coughs> physical contact is totally cool. We've talked about it. We can just do whatever we want. Great, fantastic. I'm gonna really follow your lead on this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you see that she lays down uh, and immediately starts to snooze. And oh, is... I wake her up. Sorry, uh, part of the slumber party is actually you stay up late talking. Fantastic. Yeah. I got that wrong out of the gate, but now I know and I won't make that yeah. mistake. First <laughs> cue is we stay up for a while. Great, fantastic. Okay. I love that. Um, uh, she stays up talking. Ida is love. Um, uh, uh, you find out. Uh, do you, is there anything you ask Ida about as you guys are like slumber partying? I think I just like maybe apologize for being egg for, and I want to say like my plan was like to try to like get out of fighting them and make them think I was your dad, and like that I would call off you know the military effort if they gave us. I wasn't trying to mess with you at all. Gotcha. Um, you see that Sheila says. That makes total sense. And I won't lie, I caught the short end of the straw yeah, with this so. disguise, but normally your disguises are extremely delightful. Thanks. So yeah. it's all right that this one didn't pan out for me. I'm sure the next one will. Uh, I'm sorry that it seems like he's a really powerful guy and it must be really annoying seeing everyone idolize him so much because it doesn't sound like he was a great dad. No, he was not a great dad. It's, a, it's, it's okay to admit that. I'm admitting it. I'm, yeah, I'm very he might just be a bad dad forever. <clears throat> oh well. But that's okay because you find cool people in your world that take the place of, that you were looking for from him. A different other dad. <laughs> well, uh, rather the emotions you were hoping to get from him you might find in unexpected places. Find these places. <laughs> Not a physical. Actually, yeah, it's a physical place. Yeah, let's go into some caves and look for emotions. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, uh, uh, Fabian is dancing. Adine's collapsed. Um, uh, Gorgug and Riz, are you guys uh, doing anything else as you arrive back here, at Kylo Manura, or are you? I think we just watch Fabian dance. I, I'm in like a whatever the elven equivalent of a rocking chair is. Yeah, we both, we're both sitting on chairs. <laughs> um, uh, you guys see that there are two treants, like sort of tall tree beings, that are like cradling you in their boughs and like rocking you. And they're both kind of humming. Like, you know this place isn't so bad. How did this part start happening? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just gonna sit in a tree and it started singing to me. Hey, really not horrible. Yeah. You see that Telemine appears behind you and goes, yes, really not horrible at all. And you see he holds up his hand, a blossom lands on it, and he looks at you and just gently shoves it into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> yes. Is it tasty? Is it good or is it just a flower? It was beautiful. It just, it like he just like, he glides off into the night. <laughs> did that dude just, just feed you a flower? Yeah. <laughs> that was insane. It's a complex flavor. That I don't was like insane. it. Insane. Um, uh, uh, Kristen, mm. um, uh, you. Uh, after a little while, you see you know, Tracker kind of goes off to sleep on her own. Um, mm, mm, mm. And also to like create the the moon haven for for as many people as she can. Um, she's got work to do. She's got work to do. Um, uh, you see that um, later on in the evening, uh, a little <coughs> mote of light appears before you, and a little scroll glowing <coughs> with illusory magic uh, appears, and it says a message from Arthur Eggfort. Oh, cool. Hey. Um, it appears um, you see uh, in front of you a 
badly injured Arthur Eggfort at his desk, wrapped up with bandages, bleeding a lot, uh, seated at his desk at Eggfort Adventuring Academy, um, uh, looks up at you, and you see he goes, oh, oh, hello, Kristen, how's it going? It's good, it's good, are you okay? I fucked up. What? I fucked up. What, what, what happened? I did a bunch of magic. It was too much. It was just too much. Oh. I tried. You can't just destroy a government. <laughs> oh, got you it. You can't just destroy a government. Got it. Uh, a lot of that stuff was experimental. I was working on it. It's not, you shouldn't do that. Uh, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a lot of trouble. The government of Solace is really mad at me. Oh, okay. <laughs> really mad at me. Oh, cool. Did you just kind of start a war like out of nowhere? Maybe to like I think they're going to patch it up. Off. I think I didn't fuck anything up too much. Okay. I didn't. Um, yeah, a lot of that magic was sort of new. I was working, I was trying it out. What? Her. You were trying, when you grabbed the sun? Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, too cool. much. It's I, uh, just too much. That was a workshop. I really hurt myself. Mm, um, I'm really sorry. This is it just the magic to kind of tore up my guts. <laughs> Oh, I just, just I, okay, yeah. I got I got about fifty miles north, and I just shit about a, an ocean of blood. No. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't get that big. It's okay. just too big. Okay, well, hey, so um, uh, egg four. I'm so sorry, but it's four in the morning. Out yeah. Here. So what's going on? What's with this personal I really message to up. me? I really fucked up. I'm so sorry. Kristen. Okay. I know we had that whole experience in heaven. Mm. I've kind of been going ham for a while. I had knocked out God and ran heaven for a bit. Yeah. And then I did a spell where I grabbed the sun, I tried to topple the government. <laughs> uh -huh. Just kind of one shot a government. Yep. Can't do that. Can't do that. Turns out. It's actually, I got close. Did I you? think, well, no, I think I was okay, summoning. No, I didn't. <laughs> They summoned up a lot of magic to try and stop me. They, I got hit with some pretty powerful elven counter magic, and a lot of what I was trying to do, just the force of magic itself, didn't want that to keep happening. Yeah. You know? Got it. Too big. 450 feet tall is too big. That's <laughs> crazy. You're a snow, just you're huge. Yeah. You're just huge at that point. Mm hmm. I just shit a lot of blood, and I almost passed out. Wow. I had to teleport back to Salas. Oh. My sort of, sort of terracotta army fell apart. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So what's up? Jawbone wanted me to reach out. Oh yes, great. He's here, so I just set up this spell for him. Oh. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go to court. I'm in a lot of trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. Hey, so you said Jawbone's there, right? Oh yes. Very no, good. well I, well I'm, yeah, that's. I really stretched on this one, you know. Yeah. There was some power. I grabbed the sun. Yeah. They're gonna make me move the sun back to where it was. Oh, it's yeah. I'm going to figure out how to do that. You have to move it back. <laughs> yeah, it's not messing anything up too much right uh -huh. now. It's a little bit north of where it should be. Oh. But it's going in the right direction. It's still going around the Earth. But it's in the, in the far south of the globe. It's much more wintry than it should be. <laughs> Interesting. And it's a lot more summery up here where, you know. Huh. I Wait, on up. this planet, the sun goes around the Earth? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, funny story. Mm -hmm. the, actually, our <clears throat> spire does go around the sun. So when I was dragging the sun across the sky, I'm actually not, I need to figure out kind of what I did. Oh, okay. oh yeah. shit. Because again, it's sort of, that's a more poetic understanding of how things really work, but mm -hmm. I, I, I really fucked up. So I'm, I'm gonna live, I'm, I, uh, I don't know. I've been going, going pretty ham. Yeah. When I, <laughs> when I was dead for a couple of months, I kind of, it, it fucked me up. Mm. Oh, me too, yeah. You know. Meeting God, finding out that he was a frat boy, that, that ruined my life. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, it's okay, yeah. Uh, here's Jawbone. Oh, and great. you see, he stands up. <laughs> you see, he kind of puts his pockets over and he like, walks a little way away. Jawbone goes, hey there, Kristen. Uh, yeah. Arthur, we're gonna maybe need, need the room, bud. And you see Arthur says, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk. I, I, I don't feel good. Um, <laughs> he walks he out of the room. Okay? Jawbone looks and says, I, he, he fucked up. Yeah, it's you can't do said. that. You can't go do a one-man war. On yeah. A, <laughs> yeah. On a whole place and, and get real big and grab the sun. You yeah. Can't do that. Especially if you're about to get impeached. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, hey, Jawbone, I wanted to talk to you. Um, so I'm ha I'm having problems with Tracker. I feel like she got really mad at me about something that I didn't think was that big of a deal. But then I, I just I think that made her even more mad that I wasn't really listening to her. Okay. 
Um, what, what was she? What was the thing that you were? Or... Well, now this is another whole element to it because it was something about you, but I kind of want her to tell you. Is there a way to have this conversation without me telling you what the specific thing was? <laughs> you see, he kind of smiles and says, "Well, Kristen, I got to say my interest is pretty peaked." Yeah, definitely. But I'm not gonna make you say anything you don't want to say. I'll. I'll I'll try to weigh in and be as helpful as I can without yeah. all the details. See, the next day, something scary happened, and she was still mad at me, and I said, I thought, I thought you slept it off. And uh, she didn't like that. Okay. You guys were in a fight. Mm -hmm. You keep feel like you can't say the right things, and you thought she would just sleep it off? I thought maybe that would happen. And you told her that? Yeah, I said it to her. Huh. Well... Kristen, I think about the only mistake you can really make in a relationship is treating the other person sort of like a means to an end rather than kind of an end in themselves. Does that make sense? That doesn't, yeah. Um, what is the thing you don't like about Tracker being mad at you? I guess she's like really distant and she doesn't want to, you know, she's, she's really upset with me. She keeps like, you know, mm -hmm. see, she's like unbelievable. Yeah. But you know her so well. So I, I try to pick some flowers, all, that's so cheesy, but I, something better than that. Yeah. Something like that's like. Well, let me ask you a question. Try to answer as honestly as you can. Did you pick flowers for tr Tracker because you wanted her to start being nice to you again and to get over it? Mm, interesting, yeah. Does that sound kind of true? Probably, yeah. Now this is, this is hard. I'm not, the, this level of enlightenment and awareness is not something that everyone's just naturally good at, it takes work and effort and everything else. But what I would probably say is People can sense when people are trying to manipulate them to feel a certain way. And as unfortunate as it is, if you had gotten her flowers because you actually were sad that she was sad, it would have probably meant a very different thing than getting flowers to try and sweep a problem under the rug. And I know it's hard because, look, when some, someone we love is mad at us, we want to go into panic mode and we're defensive and nobody likes to feel wrong or like we did something bad. But to the best of your ability, if you can honor Tracker's emotions for their own sake, you're going to be a better partner to her. It, like, if your main concern when she's mad or upset is that she's mad and upset and you want to help address the things that she has a problem with for her sake, mm -hmm. that's going to be better than coming from a place of panic and just wanting to... Totally. Just wanting to get her back to where she's the most fun for you. Totally, yeah. Totally, yeah. Hmm. Right? So why do you think Tracker was mad? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just sad. Because you got to have that level of empathy. You got to be able to look at your partner and say. I think that's totally true. You know, yeah, I, I think I, I think she was really upset about something that I thought wasn't necessarily. It was more. I heard some information that was very pertinent to her, and she was the last person I told it to. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, you know, people make mistakes. Yeah. But I think that you owe it to Tracker if you want to patch things up to understand that that's not her values. Now, you know, it, it, secret keeping is a hard, tricky thing. There could be instances where it's important to keep a secret from your partner, you know? Nothing's set in stone, um, but it, you know now about Tracker that for her, having full transparency and trust between the two of you is something that really matters to her. Definitely. And, and maybe the thing to communicate is that you didn't know that before, and you do know that now. The one thing Tracker, it wouldn't be fair to Tracker to be mad about is for you to have not known something that isn't natural to you. If you think keeping secrets from someone's not a big deal, 
that's not your fault. It's just something that now you have to learn and grow and move on. Yeah, totally. Right. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you, Chama. Appreciate it. How's, how's spring break going? Adventure going good? Oh, it's great. Yeah, all the guys are burned. and um, That sounds normal. Yeah, and we're just having a good time with all the elves who are, uh, like, silky. <laughs> Elves kind of are silky. They are everything about them. Silky. I traveled around a lot. I met a lot of very silky elves. Yes, yeah, definitely. Kind of the right I have word. to pee too bad to listen to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Um, uh, you see that Jawbone looks at you and goes, Well, you know, kiddo, I think you and Tracker work really well together. Mm -hmm. And I love you. I have a question. Yeah, shoot, go for it. Are you the type of person who thinks like a secret should not be kept from you and it's a big issue? In my opinion, hard and fast rules about behavior always tend to have exceptions. True. So keeping secrets, not keeping secrets, doing stuff, not doing stuff. I think every situation you just gotta make a call with your heart for the most part. What I will say is, I think it's usually pretty silly to try and protect people from the truth. Mm -hmm. I feel like more harm gets done from people not knowing than from people knowing cool. in general. I think that's great. Um, okay, well, can you call me at this time tomorrow again to talk really quick? I'd be happy to, kiddo. Oh, thanks so much, Java. Give my love to Tracker. I will. Give my love to you. Hey, thank uh, you. Love you, kiddo. I love you too. And, uh, uh, and please give my love to Sandra Lent too. I sure will. I'm definitely going to talk to her immediately. <laughs> yeah. He nods and says, all right, take care. Thanks for checking in, okay? Okay, of course. Thank you. Bye, Java. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, little message vanishes. Sweet. Um, uh, you uh, go off to sleep the next morning. Uh, you all awake in Falamel. Um, or except for Fabian, who has danced through the night. All night. All night. Um, uh, uh, incredible. Um, uh, as you dance through the night, sun rises and telamine uh, wash in the trees, and your grandfather begins to dance with you as the dew assembles on the leaves. I'll play a little music. For them to dance too. <laughs> on, on the bass? Yeah. You under the the new genres. Uh, uh, Ida is just completely passed out. She's deep, deep sleep. You guys were up all night talking. Um, uh, Telemine looks at you and says, "I danced for so many years in these glades and meadows with your mother, Fabia." I understand why now. I've never danced before, and it feels so right. It yes. is who I am. It is, my grandson, to feel the movement of your body on the grass and the leaves of the trees. You belong here, Fabian. I mean, part of me does, Grandfather, of course, but I mean, I can't stay here. I have to go with my friends. We have to defeat the Nightmare King. It is a cruel world beyond these shores that would see such beautiful children have to do stuff. <laughs> you should not have to do stuff. <laughs> you should instead be ever in these meadows, eating grapes and dancing around, dancing around forever. Maybe I'll come back one day. Please come back. And dance a little more. I only wish for you to dance ever a little more. My grandson. <sighs> Eat this. <laughs> Don't! It's gross! Mm. Just a regular mm. flower. It's very good. Thank you. It glides away. <laughs> um, you guys assemble uh, that morning, your party all together. Um, Ida is still here with you. Your hirelings are all here. Um, and uh, in the morning as you come out of trance, um, a 
side-eye and you open your eyes um, and you see a very sick and shivering Aelwyn. It looks like she has um, not recovered. Can I, are there any kind of, like a hot spring <laughs> or something that I can take her down to and just get her cleaned up? Yes, absolutely. Um, you go, there are some uh, elven healers who uh, wash Aelwyn. Um, and you I'm see- I'm gonna stay by her side. I don't wanna leave her alone. Um, you stay there, Telemine looks at you and says, we would be happy to keep your sister here if you wish. It's up to her. Um, uh, you stay by her side. Um, her eyes flicker open. She looks at you and goes, had I? Elvin. Um, we're out of the tower. We're out of the tower. Did, did we escape or did we die? No, we escaped. Oh, good. We're alive. I, um, I didn't really take care of you. No, but that's okay. I'm going to take care of you now. Um, she puts out a hand and a very feeble shield surrounds you. Um, and you see, she goes, um, I, I don't remember everything. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's okay. You don't have to do anything right now but get better. Okay. Uh, give me an insight check with advantage if you'd be so kind. 16? Um, yes, 16. You see like a look of <clears throat> confusion or something in her eyes. Um, and you sense that like she is having trouble navigating her own mind, that there's something changed or different mm -hmm. about her mind. Um, there, there's something going on within her thoughts that is confusing and upsetting. Can I give her Bobby told? Yes. And mm, can I, as a ritual, cast Detect Magic on her? Uh, yes, you can. Um, you cast Detect Magic. Um, uh, um, as you cast Detect Magic on her, there is a faint aura of enchantment magic uh, somewhere around her, but it's deep and well hidden. Um, you find it only the faintest whisper of it, but there's something going on in her mind. Can I cast Detect Thoughts on her? You do. Um, you cast uh, Detect Thoughts. Start to move through her mind. The torture has had a profound corrosive effect on Aylwin's well-being. Um, and her memory is really warped and hurt. As you're casting Detect Thoughts and moving through her, um, you see, it's almost like a vision to you. You're like walking through her mind and you see it's like a city that's <coughs> been like razed to the ground or bombed out. And you see all of these walls and defenses and like battlements with like magical arcane towers that have all like crumbled. And you look at these like intense arcane defenses everywhere and recognize like your sister's personality. Like the horrible, mean, wicked, sarcastic. You see the wreckage of that and it is like the ringed walls of a great city. Um, and you're walking through this weird, vulnerable labyrinth of images, and most of what you see is uh, like deep self-loathing. Uh, and a lot of the memories of self-loathing, you see like memories that you don't remember 
from this perspective of you being like scorned and chided and dismissed by your parents and actively like cast aside into like second place. Um, and you see your sister there and you, you never remember your sister doing anything heroic, interceding on your behalf, doing anything. But what you see now in all these moments is Aylwin's loathing of herself for never saying anything, this natural, like, abjurative instinct, and overpowering that, the thing that is more powerful than that self-loathing is her fear of your parents, of just not wanting to put herself in front of them. Um, and then that, of course, that cowardice feeds directly back into the self-loathing, which feeds back, 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 over and over again through as many memories as exist throughout your childhood. Um, a, a horrible acknowledgement that she was the golden child, and as long as she never fucked up, she would never have to face what you faced. In the center of this labyrinth, you find an intense magical charm, and it's wrapped up, and it's all of Ilwyn's abjurations. Uh, mixed with that faint enchantment that you can see. And you get the sense that in that orb, they had been searching for this mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And you see there's writing on the outside of this. And it says, despite all of the torment and tribulation, let this be proof. I always knew there was only one person clever enough to find this. I touch it. Do you attempt to dispel this effect? Will it do, will it work? Does, does it seem like it will work without dispelling her own magic? It seems like you can trigger this with a dispelling action and it will do what Aelwyn intended it to do. Then yes. So you are shunted out through the city. I'm going to describe something very heartbreaking now. Oh, no. Aylwin's mind returns. The version of her mind she saved before all of this happened. You feel that your sister is no longer broken. The memory of herself, the version of her mind, using that custom modify memory spell, <sighs> comes back <sighs> as you are now once again in your own body, standing next to her, and you see a very physically feeble Aylwin go, <sighs> ah! Little sister. That's all for this week <laughs> on Fantasy High. Get out of here. Uh, Eat your goddamn <laughs> dice, Brennan. <laughs> I got my sugar dice right here. Uh, guys, that's all for this week on Fantasy High. Tune in next week. We will see you guys then. Thank you, as always, for watching.